I have a very big surprise for the entire Beer Bros audience. What is that? We are still cops. Whoa. Did you know that? Oh, shit. So last time on Beard Bros, uh, we had a cutscene involving a car going off of a cliff into like, that sign up there. So um, <laughs> we, I think we could just walk there, but we probably should take a car in case afterwards we're going to go somewhere. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Alex? What if I just... You can, I, just, you can just walk very slowly there. What if I just stroll? This is the... I don't even... Why? Why? Why would you ever make this the walk speed? I don't know. Woo! Did you see that? Little whiffy boy. He wiped his head off. Wiped it. He's sweating. This is such a slow... Like, I'm always... I'm always gonna run. Always. Everywhere that I go, I'm gonna run. Because it's three times as fast. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't understand. Why even put the walk mode in there? Or make it faster? Alright. Let's do this thing. You're behind the wheel. You're behind the wheel. Are you making them drive? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Alex hates driving. I'm not about to murder everybody. I just watched a satirical video about L.A. Noir. Yeah. And uh, the roast was that a lot of people die. Yeah. That's not me. It ain't you, man. That ain't me. No way. Yo, this looks like... Her face looks familiar. This looks like my yeah, house. June Ballard. Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. Great. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain is moving. McAfee? Now, but the two of them still have juice. McAfee. No, oh, McAfee at this point. All right. He Phelps. hasn't made the antivirus right. yet. Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What cool. do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right Boxer the cops. Off the side of the escarpment. Her stories Little Mac is a cop. Her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Oh shit. Hurt? Drivers beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. Jessica, Jessica Hamilton and Aww. June Ballard. Gonna be all right. What a bummer. So. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Wait, so there's no dead body? One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. She cuts rough. All right, so we have Jessica I don't know what that Hamilton means. That's, and June Ballard. That's just some old-timey uh, slang. Corner, he's down by the crash site. Okay. So, let, before So we, does that mean there's clues up here and down there? Yeah, I think so. Let's go down there first and and investigate cuz if we're going to go talk to them and if she's lying, look, we can't go in there with no evidence at all. If we find that she's lying, we in trouble. How do I get down there? Is there like a ramp? Is the kind of thing like when you were a kid where you like would like kind of like fall off a, a cliff and like had to like skid? The thing where you're a kid where you fall off a cliff? You know, <laughs> what are you when, talking when about? When you were a kid, here you go, go. When you were a kid. You mean like just like sliding down yeah, a hillside because you're a clumsy man? Yeah, and then like, can't, do you ever fall while you're doing that? I do that all the time, even today now, because I geocache all the time. Right. And I just scrape up my knees. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Got it. Okay. Let's look at some clues. Laid out on the trunk. What do we got? Nishada! Panties! Pick him up. Or is that a diaper? No, it's panties. Ripped panties. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? Oh my them? god. They were stuffed in the young lady's hand. Oh my god. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Are you singing the banjo theme as you're... Oh my god, put it down. Put it down. That's the greatest thing that I've ever done in a video game. Alright, what do we got? Purse? Oh. Ooh, a letter. He just went right for it. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All's forgiven. He has a hot temper and cannot. He can be very proud, but he still is your. He's you're still his little girl, and he loves you. I know he didn't mean the things he said. You're good, a decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like Carla Bow, and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would never be happy in that life. You realize that one day too. I'm sure Aunt J Junie, Aunt Junie's looking after you, but I can't help worrying 
You know what your mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but once sometimes they can blind you to what's <laughs> right in front of your nose. <laughs> Emma and Molly miss you awfully. This woman is getting drunker and drunker as this letter goes on. <laughs> Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly's bright as a button, just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look out for them now. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. I cry every your time. Your mother, your loving mother, Camille Hamilton. I cry every time. Come back, baby. Like if you cry every time on Instagram, please. Uh, okay, so I just want to point out a few things. Okay. Weird coloration on this paper. Yeah. Looks like the bottom part of the page was just like whited out and written over again in like a different color it, ink. And notice how like in the middle, like yeah, the pen started Junie, to dry yeah. out weird. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, check the date. Go back up. Oh, there's an, the date is twelve twenty nine. What's the date today in our game world? Do we know? I don't know. Is there some way? Is that a thing? I don't know. Do we know the date anywhere? I don't know. Cl go to clues. Check the uh, letter from mom. Wisconsin seems to be the only pertinent thing All right. according to the game. Okay. Let's uh let's look around the vehicle some more. We got license plate. Run that. We know who it belongs to. We can run it, see who the owner is. We know who the owner is. Let's find out, make sure what if it's not? Okay, but I think we would have known he would have. What if it's like that guy who fucks kids? We got rid of him! Did we? Ooh. Blood. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Alright. So maybe they were on drugs. Maybe. You buy their story? I guess we'll find out when we talk to them, but... Uh... Oh, oh, let's talk to our homie. This... What? This uh, the, 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 the corner. The corner. Yeah. My main man. Or he's, he's tight. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head the I fuck is that? My is it a shrunken head? <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Dude, Cole knows, sh Cole, Cole knows Shakespeare, bro. Yo, real? we're tight. Kylo Ren's mask. No. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a rubber <laughs> an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the yeah, you know, like a curio. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh yeah, there's casting marks. Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then paint it. So we can rule out the murder angle? <laughs> no, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Oh. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Oh. Alright, let's put it away. I look up to you, Darth Vader. I'll finish what you start. I'll finish what you started. Alright, put it away. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, Zelda Chime, we're done. Straight off a cliff. I mean, the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. So we should go upstairs and Let's talk, go talk to, to the, the driver. To the Look at this, look at this. Let's just go upstairs. Let's just... <laughs> run faster! It's so slow. You're gonna totally run off one of those times. I'm You're like, like me when I fell asleep during Banjo. No, I'm not. That was crazy. I'm wide awake. Alright. So she's the cry girl over there. Is there the other girl too? No, no, she's, she's at the, the hospital. hospital. Okay. So I'll just talk to the cry girl. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. June Ballard. June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? Oh, my God. You're kind of cute. Oh, my God. Maybe a bit is she on some drugs? Guy. She seems kind of like she me, is. June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. Whoa, Pukowski. You gotta know when to. You gotta know when to rein it in. Let's talk about that dope allegation. Let's talk about this. Uh, Cole Phelps, judgy, calling her a B movie actress right off the bat. Not even. Let's. Oh no, she totally is. Are you high, ma'am? Do you like, do? Do you do opium, ma'am? I feel like this is like, ma'am. Do you opium? The same actress who who like Paid by the hour played by another character thing? in the game. I don't know. Yo, all right, all right let's ask her. Let's, let's ask put her. this bitch in jail. I'm we sorry. Oh my god. Okay, she's being rude. The accident, Mrs. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's 
It's no wonder I feel so dopey. That's why I'm hitting on the cops. I can't remember. I doubt that. Okay, let's see. Doubt, let's doubty, let's doubty, doubty. I doubt you all the. She's Ooh, look at that. She's, she's got a secret. Oh, you. She's, she's not. A secret. She's not lying, but she's got <laughs> she's, something there. Yeah, she's got a little Yo, secret. Like, what are you? Hold Ooh. on, hold on, hold on. She's like, look at this. Wait for it. Looking the down look. Yeah, yeah, the down look. Ooh, Ooh I got something I got to hide. <laughs> <laughs> to withhold information I'm Tarzan's during a wife. Investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. Touch me yeah. and I'll shoot you, ma'am. <laughs> Don't bother your handsome head about this. <laughs> My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Mark Bishop. Tell us about the uh, injured female passenger. Tell us about Jessica, the Wisconsin dame from Wisconsin. Tell us about the December. <laughs> Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? You're a lying person. You she, are well, such she's still, a liar. She's still making the notebook. Okay, wait, so Oh my god, look at the look at the dimps! What look is she the dimps? What did she just look. say? What did she just say? She said that she was just trying to make it in the movies. That's all there is to say? Yeah. Uh, so we, should we just call her a liar? Call her a liar? Wait, go, wait. Hold on. Go to the underwear. It was found in her bag. <sighs> so the question is, if, we if, call if her I'm going to call her a liar, show? what piece of evidence am I going to use against her? Oh, oh, we'll use the underwear. Why? Because they said there might be some semen on it. Oh, like just because like maybe she's trying to get ahead with the industry or something. Just because like it's fishy because she had ripped undies in her bag. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So all she's, right, she's, right. she's a liar. I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. If you call me, Any proof? if you try and hit on me again. All right, let's, let's do it. All in. I will take the, yeah, the fall. Yeah, all in. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. Bam. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a cast. For what? Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Oh, shit. All right. Damn. All right. I can't believe I was actually <laughs> right about that. Yeah. <laughs> it was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Oh, I doubt that. The last oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Uh, now, she's not lying, but yeah. I doubt her fucking story. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Let me just this character, look to the corner here. This character, <laughs> she's literally looking. Look at it. Watch, watch. When she looks to the side again, she's going to look right at the doubt. <laughs> Doubt, right. doubt, 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 doubt. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. Oh my god. Shut talent your mouth. doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. You are awful. Bishop, which prop house he uses. You are awful. Let's she, talk about that stuff. She's saying then. Mark Bishop so you much. Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He's a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. Who would say this to the cops? Sounds true to me. Hold on. She doesn't look fishy. Like at all. She doesn't look fishy, but I, I feel like this is a trick. Well, the problem is, you can't just say, like, leave it to my husband. Right. Do you think that the game wants us to doubt her just to, like, be like, what the fuck are you talking about? I think the game is trying to trick us and wa and is, because based on her facial reactions, we've been right so far, Well, right? like, here's the thing. She's not lying. I, I don't know what to, like... She's not lying. No, she's not lying. I can... I will rule but, out lying. But I am doubtful I'm because... Also, well, I'm doubtful because you're right. The, the husband. I, like, like, I'm not... Why hide behind the husband? Right, like, it. well, also, you can't just say, like, don't worry about him. He doesn't matter to this criminal investigation. I'll deal with it. Right. Doubt. Right. I'm with you. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. 
bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I am. Mrs. McCaffrey, I think you would be. Oh my God! Company, Get company out of here, Hashtag America. P F Changs. <laughs> Perfect Changs. Perfect Changs. I want P F Changs, dude. I love P F Changs. Mrs. McCaffrey, you are still actually it's not that good. Narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be. What? <laughs> you're like the biggest asshole if I've ever seen there, in real life. This woman? Here. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I apologize for uh, calling her a bitch. I didn't she was to. a bitch. Right, but I mean, like, I didn't want anyone at home to think I was, like, being rude to her because she was a woman or anything. Just She was just literally being let's a bitch. Be, let's be rude to her because she's, she's a being bitch. extremely rude. How about right, that? right. That's what I mean. I, I realize that sometimes on Beer Bros, we say things like pseudo out of context. Whatever. So We're hard boiled cops. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just want to be clear. We're we're peaceful you know, with everyone like, and everything. Yo, if somebody's watching the show and uh, they're sitting going? here thinking like, "Yo, these guys are insulting me and they're assholes." Like you, I can't, I can't help you because I know. it's I so know. it's so obvious that we're not trying to roast anyone. I know we're All, the most we're party just trying, vibe, chill look, out. We're Everyone's trying to chill. find out the motherfucking truth. We are hashtag truth bros. Look, all I'm saying is, in the eternal words of Ed. I'm a dude. <laughs> He's a dude. She's, She's a, dude. a dude. And we're, we're all dudes. dudes. Hey. hey. Got it. All right. Yeah. In that case, let's fucking go to let's the hospital. Let's go jump in the milkshake machine and use it like a hot tub. <laughs> hospital attached to Central Police Station? That's where we're going. Is this hospital Are you located? I'm not walking. This okay, is, this I was is like, the game. I was uh, very confused for a no. sec. Is this hospital located in Hey Arnold's house? Because it kind of looks like it. <laughs> Hey, we are crushing this game. Arnold. Move it, football head. Hey, Arnold. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Patrick, show everyone what the actor from Hey Arnold looks like right now. The kid who plays Hey Arnold? He looks like a, like, dope hipster dude. That's exactly what I hoped. <laughs> I hope he looks like what Arnold looks like right now. No, he does. Oh. He's definitely not a football-shaped head guy. Nobody is. Football head. Football head. Are you singing the Trojan Man theme song? No. Trojan Man. No, it's the episode where uh, they parody the that opera. Oh, yeah. My name's Don Armel. Oh, the, car the, like Carmen, a, the yeah. Carmen episode. Would you right. like a caramel? Oh, Detective Phelps. <laughs> here to interview I am Hamilton. Tom Arnold. <laughs> Would you like a caramel? I'm married to Roseanne. Do you like my hair? Did you see me in True Lies? He was in True Lies. You can't hold me here. Wait, hold up. What? Is oh, that her? Should, should I talk to this guy? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I saw, I saw a talk option. Go back. There was a talk option to talk to the... Wasn't there? What am I... There you go. See, I saw it. Hello, doctor. I'm that was weird. Okay. It was at the door. Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she was really weird. Much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Dude, that tie. Was drugged. She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swap seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. See, there's something fishy about this. Something ain't right. This is not it, right? I think this is her. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, hold is... up. What? Oh, should I look around? Two boys. Oh yo! Giving me anything to go on. Uh, we have to like, we don't. So we know that she's been hurt, right, from the accident. going to help us. Yeah. But did they find any evidence of rape or anything? Well, her ripped panties. Right. So check her chart, or like talk to him again or something. I don't know. Does she have a chart? Oh, she yeah, right a there. 
Oh yeah! Look at this shit. Head trauma, soft tissue damage, residual traces of evidence of abuse. Yeah, he oh. said. Yeah, he said that. External bruising to genitals. Okay. Oh yeah, she's been raped. Recently, Mister. Not Mister. Okay, so she chloral hydrate in the bloodstream. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, she was she was drugged and raped. All right. All right. Now he has something to talk to her about. Do you want to see what she thinks about tell me this eyeball monster? Do you want to talk to her about her thoughts on the latest issue of Mystic Tales? <laughs> You're making me uncomfortable. Just standing around here looking at me and not saying anything. All right, I should talk to her. Let's uh, talk to this young woman. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. Traffic. I'd like to talk to Traffic. you about your accident. If Possibly vice. Um, okay. All right. Let's talk about the crash incident Yeah, let's talk report. about the crash. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Ma'am, uh, you are a liar. <laughs> you are such <laughs> she a liar. Was like, she was like, I'm going to tell this lie. Oh, but I feel really bad about you're, it. You are a right. liar. Lie? Lie? Lie. Lie. Yeah. Lie, 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 lie. cover up. Lying. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I'm not lying to Show you. Show him the underwear. Yeah. Show him the underwear. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told you knew what happened. God, it's so bad that she's like so young. That was the price of starting. It's like really bitch. weird. Oh now. man. Cold hearted bitch. Yeah. See what? Fault. He agrees with me. It's, it's the 40s. Fault. They call everyone a bitch. I had okay. I a friend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. <laughs> when else have you your parents? Did she say it was consensual? Look at that shady. No, because she, she has bruising. Right. It's not consensual. Keep going. Contact okay. with the parents. You need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica. I think we'll get to it at the end. Tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry. It's about weird talking to a video game character about rape when they look so realistic. They trust her to take care of me. Uh, that's not what your mother said in this letter. Yeah, you're lying. You're a liar, you're lying. liar, pants on fire. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? You are setting yourself up to get slam dunked on, girl. Give him that letter from your mother. Letter from your mother, the truth. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, <laughs> and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Okay. Tell us about Bishop. How did you meet Mark Mr. Bishop. Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Um. Up. Oh. Now you're half telling the truth. Uh, should I go with doubt? You think? L look at the eyes. Like she's definitely look at the she's eyes. definitely being shifty. Eye contact for the most of it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look to the left. So you think it's just... Look at the wall, look at the but right. We, but we're, we don't need to doubt her. She, no, she's a dowdy boy. I mean, we don't need to tell her a li yeah, liar. No, she's dowdy. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean... Oh, it happened this morning! Roasted! That's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. Oh my she god, maybe she tried to kill her. Maybe she got jealous. Oh, Junie Jun here is... Because he said he withdrew the part. What if he offered it to her and then tried to kill... And then and then she found out and tried to kill her. Evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please. It's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. You know what? I'm inclined to believe her on this. 
Yeah, it's weird. This is a tough one because this is, it's like, this is the most real we probably get because she is a rape victim. Yeah, she's been we raped. Can't, we can't, can't. We can't empathize or can't like. It does look. I'll tell you this. The last time that she was being shady, she was being like super shifty about it. Right but now, it, but look at her, well, it. You, looks like she's just like she's in pain. Yeah, she's. You just can like, see it based on on her face too, like her her like lips. Like before, it was kind of like I don't want to talk about this, but now she's. I well, think she's okay. Genuinely, so here's here's what we need to decide. Yeah. Do we need to decide like what my th like the theory that I just put forward? Does that sound like it's likely, or do we think that it's still like somehow is like she has something to do with the crime? Because if she has something to do with the crime, we can doubt her or, or, or lie to her and maybe catch her right now, or we can believe she was raped and that she's the victim. And I think I'm, I think that's what I want to do. I think I, I, I'm, based on what I see right now, I think she's telling the truth. Yeah, it looks real. I think it's real. All right. Let's take that, let's take that fall. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Okay. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Hell yes. Thank you, Jess. Oh my god, someone stop us. That's enough to go us. on. Someone Here's stop That's us. That's enough. We're the mask. We are the Both mask. Both of us together are the mask. We are the, we are the mask, but not the son of the mask. Yeah, no, we are not the son of the mask. That's a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? See? They're trying to set us up to, to like, for that. Yeah, we're running a little long. It's oh. The tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be our lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Oh, we're tailing her. <laughs> Look at this. Watch her, like, kiss this dude. There she goes. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, catch up to her next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros, we're going to catch her in the act of lying. All right. If Good. that's really what it is. Yeah, we're still perfect dicks. Question of the day. Um, have you ever had a chance at fame? Have you ever, like, come close? Like, I have a friend who was the other guy who they didn't choose to be McLovin. I have a friend also who is like that, too. Phil Daddario, good friend of mine. Phil Daddario went for McLovin. Yeah, he almost got cast, but he said they was he was too old and too like uh, he wasn't nerdy enough. My he friend, was, he was just crazy enough. My friend Eric. Uh, oh, Eric! Yeah, I know Eric from college. Yeah, he literally looks just like him. Uh, he well, maybe it's not the same Eric. I'm not sure. Uh, but he uh, he like did scenes with uh, Seth Rogen and Bill Hader. Oh, really? The cop scenes? Yeah. All right. Uh, next time on Beard Bros. We get, we're gonna we're gonna catch someone. Someone's going down. Someone's going down. Um, we're about to get busy. Yeah. Later, man. Later, man. The cops are back. All the right. The cops are All right. real. So real talk. This is just like a tailing situation, right? Like I don't yeah. want to like chase her down. So wait, you're, where is she? She just turned right. Okay. Hold circle to focus on the camera. Ballard is definitely up to something. Tight. Okay. I just learned about this. He just said that. But what I'm saying is, like, if this has been a thing the whole time, Jesus. You gotta, You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Yo, we're trying, okay? You got a pretty crazy idea of how you're not thinking about the traffic in the she game engine. Have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Make that right. Dude, I'm telling you, she is the murderer. She's making that left. This is so terrifying. We don't want to ruin it. She's pulling over. She's pulling over. Okay. She's going into like a cafe or something? Looks like a. Oh, yeah. Hey, Alright, let's do it. See what she's up to. Take all ones to take cover at the door. Oh, so we gotta like sneak in the bar? Or is that cafe? the door? Sandwiches. Thank you, waitress. To the cafe without being seen. Where is she? Oh, there she is. So don't get caught. Go. Go, go. She's on the phone. Go, 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 go. I'm trying my best. Find a booth with a newspaper. Right there. We're going incognito, baby. baby? Inaudible. No. 
I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. <laughs> shadow. The shadow. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some call. Oh, it's her husband. Yep. She's trying to get the guy whacked. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm... Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 8. Oh, shit. Yeah, we know where we're going next. Aw, yeah. The film. <laughs> the film. Wait, what? The film? What? Did she, she leave, leave yet? Alright, let's leave. I'm just gonna wait oh. for her to... Get out of here. I do not want her to see me. Oh yeah, the shadow of... The shadow the news. Ah, the shadows. I'm the League of Shadows. That's the League of Shadows. Right. The shadows of the League. Let's go to Bishop's. Fine. Let's do it. Where are we headed? The Wilson Apartment Hotel. I wish you told me what street I was on. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. How- so it's so sucky up. that they just like McAfee know criminals are criminals. Yeah. What did you make of the kid? Battery's low. <laughs> Believe her story? Oh no. I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? I'm telling you, dude, my theory is 100% legit. What is your theory then right now, Alex? Tell us your theory. I think that she tried to kill her. 415 in progress. Oh! Can you control? I'm not driving the car. Can you take control? Can't. Oh. <laughs> I can't. What happened? Did we just break the game? No, I think we're at a red light. Oh, wait, but it looks like it's a green light. Oh, I guess it's just this loading now. I think we're okay. What the hell? So weird. All right. All right. 415, what is that? I don't know, look it up. Yo. Here we go. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance. There you go. Uh, okay. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Take the elevator and then left down the corridor? Oh my god, camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. <laughs> And to the left? I think so? No! No! Oh my god. 804? 803? Yeah, 803. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm alright now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria men. Bishop. Please. Come in. Officers. Oh, they ruined the apartment. I'll just need to sit down. Dude, it was a hit. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I I will. Thank you, officer. <laughs> take a moment. Gather we have, your we thoughts. Have, we probably have a lot to look for because this is some crazy shit. Yeah. Oh, and of course our favorite. Okay, what is that? This is a statue of the Buddha. Doesn't pertain to the case. Gotcha. Got it. Thank you, Phelps. What a mirror on the floor? No, I guess it's... Yeah, it looks like a mirror. Um... New Testament? Bible? 
not much help. Don't. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. What's this? Incidental. What was that? What is that? The gay cowboys? Does that say that in the wall? It does. Mark Bishop, gay cowboys. It's like the like 1940s version of, of Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain. Mountain. Oh, okay. We got a room here. Everybody in the world reads... Wedding ring? Mystic, mystic Tales. No good to me. Oh, no. Brush. Can you get a hair sample? Circumstantial. No. No. All right. What about that black thing? Was that lipstick? Don't think this is anything. Good. This is. This is hard. Oh, is that a check? Could this finally be a clue? Whoa. Who's that? Two. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Bank of Arcadia. To who? Logan Hollywood? Lorna Hollywood? Is it say Hollywood? Hollywood? Aileywood? Not sure. Ma Mark Bishop did sign the check. Yeah. What's this? Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. I don't think there's anything else to in here, maybe. Check for twenty thousand dollars in the forties? That's so much money. Okay, Cowboys. Silver screen props. To Mark. The saddle. That's a clue. Okay. Um, silver screen prop from Gay Cowboys. I bet you silver screen props is somewhere we can go to talk to them about the shrunken head. Yeah. Five bucks? A five? Five oh? It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. <laughs> it's like it turned out it's a business card. It tells me to follow my heart yeah. to the Lord. Yeah, for some reason, it's an invitation to a church. <laughs> okay. Looks like the old movie set. Movie set photograph? Yo, this right here, this, there's a mall uh, at Hollywood and Highland now. Can you now. turn around, Alex? No. I'm just wondering. There's a mall in Hollywood and Highland now. Uh, where the Kodak Theater is, you know where that is? Yeah. See those elephants there mm -hmm. that are like sitting down? Yeah. The entire mall is themed after this movie set. I forget what movie this is, but this is this like is a, definitely the Universal lot. This? Yeah. No, this is this is downtown. This this was this was Hollywood and Highland. This was a movie set that was there. Oh really? Yeah, I remember this. I it remember seeing like this in I've a seen book. At Universal Studios. Yeah. This is like this is like the mall is a reference to it. If you go there now. So that was the. Well, that, so that was a. Oh. Great Wall of Babylon. Movie yeah. Movie set replica. Okay. Intolerance. That's what it is. This is it. D.W. Griffith's Intolerance. That's the movie. <laughs> Matchbook? I don't think so. No? Fireball whiskey? Los Diablos. Mark Bishop drinks is Fireball. A, is that a Bernie Sanders matchbook? <laughs> <laughs> Does Mark Bishop feel the burn? <laughs> Hashtag no, way, right? no political bros. Um, let's go look out. Oh, man, the cup. <laughs> nope. 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 Rotating a cup. All right. Fridge? Let's go to that main room. How many clues are there in this place? Am I, don't I just know, like man. missing them? This clock stopped at the time of the abuse. <laughs> Probably not. Alright. Dude, this is crazy. So much stuff. Oh, check. There you go. There's a picky. Looks like we found our mermaid. Prop store photograph. Yo, the mermaid. My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Bam. Marlon Hopgood, and we know where your shop's at, too. We don't know where it is, but we'll find it. We'll find your damn shop. Maybe.
I think that was the Zelda chime. I think you were right. Whoa. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Oh my god, is that the intolerance set? You can see it from here? Hollywood and Highland? That's tight. Yo, is this woman Alex Mack? <laughs> no. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. You know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. Oh. Whoa. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. <laughs> also, I'm wearing the Hollywood suit. detective suit. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Whoa, do you think that the June Ballard was hot on me because I'm wearing the like Sunset Strip like celebrity friendly outfit? No. Okay, so she's clearly lying. Uh I don't think she's lying. You know why I don't think she's lying? Mm. Look at the eye contact. She's not breaking eye contact. She's staring us down, but she's smug. I think there's doubt. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think she's lying. Oh, well, lying. You, well, yeah, I'm, I, you said lies. So that's why I, I know, was like, I know, hold I on. I always think it's, hold, it's hold like the phone, almost dude. always doubt. It's almost always doubt. Right, when in doubt, doubt, doubt. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? Maybe she's trying to frame him? Same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Yo, where is he at? You think maybe that, that she was just trying to frame him? Who? June Ballard? June Ballard was trying to frame Mark Bishop? For trying to murder them? Murder or for rape? Your husband, ma'am. I don't know about the rape. That, see, this is... That's all I know. This is tough. He's on set. This seems real. Yeah, she's telling the truth. Look at the eyes. Yeah, she, this, there's all, no, she yeah. knows nothing. Yeah, that's true. We find Whenever they tell the truth, they like, don't have any animation. It's so funny. For him. You should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Oh, we'll go talk to Hopgood. Tell us about that money. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood 20 Oh, Lorna Hopgood. Lorna Hopgood. Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You, you... my friend, are a... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um... I think she's lying, but that's me personally. I can't rationalize it, but I think she's lying... Because we have a check for 20k. Like, like, right? We have a check for 20k. I should just call her on it, right? Call her on it, and we have proof. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Um, yeah. I have a $20,000 check to Lorna in oh, your man, apartment. Looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him. If he's yeah, I have this check. Up, why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Got it. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. Okay. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Okay. Okay. Well, she's not. She looks like she's telling the truth. Well, I doubt. When yeah. in doubt, doubt. Yeah, she looks. She's not lying. Well, I mean, she is lying, but I don't have proof. Right. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? Yes, I'm a cop. The truth is, my husband likes them young. Whoa. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met Damn. Him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. 
brought her a gift. Happens to a lot of girls. Wow. Whoa. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier Dude, for him. That was probably four. the most clunch one. Yeah, the that super clunch. Super clunch. <laughs> super clunch, bros. So we just want lunch, you guys. This is <laughs> That's real. I'm starving. There's always a deal to be done. Oh, yeah, we have a little phone call. Yeah, oh, I need to call in. Did you do that? or? Yeah, I did. Dispatch. Okay. I need the address for the prop store. Putting you through now. Yeah, we do. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Dude, this is a big case. This is, yeah, this is where this, this is the case that makes me feel like this is like, get your kids out of here. <laughs> that other one with the, with the like pedophile guy, like that came out of nowhere. But like this one, it's like, we are on the trail. You called it though. You called it. What? It was like, Aging movie star that he's a pedophile. Star. I wasn't so sure, but you called it. The first guy? Yeah. Dude, that guy was a pedophile. Just the fact that he felt like, you fuck little boys. <laughs> All of you and I, I watched an episode the other day yeah, and we were just I, like, oh. I, I laughed because you and I both were like, hey -oh. <laughs> Everybody who's played this game was like waiting. Look at this walk speed. We've already gone over it. I know, I just We've can't. We've already gone over it. It's another day in LA. Harris and Franks. This is us. Harris and Frank, beautiful tailored clothing. All right, so we'll go over there and... Uh, Check out the prop store next time on Beard Bros. Um, I think we go a little longer. All right, I got some energy. Yeah, I'm let's, feeling good. Let's let's let's, let's go a little longer. One? Yeah, I'm feeling it. All right, where to? Marlon Hopgood's house. Where the house or the store? The shop, mermaid shop. Got it. Got, caught gotcha. it. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Seriously. Okay. You think she'd have gotten a hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. <laughs> well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of... It is the 40s. It is the 40s, after all. We do not like women yet. <laughs> no one can vote. No one. <laughs> oh! 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 Never gonna get resolved. <laughs> some, dude, <laughs> some dude just hit our car. We're They're cops. not even gonna talk about it. We're the cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Let's find some clues. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so funny. Should I talk to him? Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. Oh. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard. And Watch Jessica him go, ah, I don't know. Christ. Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Lead the way, motherfucker. Lead the way, Hot Wheels. <laughs> Marlon Hot Wheels leading the way. Yeah, I got it. I was with you on that weird ass joke. <laughs> I was laughing way too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. You loved it. I, I you loved that Hot Wheels joke. Dude, sometimes I crack myself up. I'm not the funniest guy, but when I'm funny, I'm happy. <laughs> Marlon Hot Wheels, lead the way. <laughs> lead the way. Hot Wheels. Lead the way, Marlin. Mr. Hot Wheels. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Knucklehead. People don't call each other knucklehead anymore. Bozo. Alright, let's go take a look around. Well, right away, we found a... Can you press X to zoom in? No zoomies? Nothing. What a creepy ass thing. Alright, well. Why isn't he saying anything? He, he thinks nothing of it, I guess. It's a shrunken head. 
Pills. Can you zoom it? There you go. Oh my god. Chloral hydrate. That's what she had in her system. Using her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Don't say that shit out loud, Cole. Dude, look at this HD label though. Dr. Stoneman, what's up? Tight. All right, so that's one clue. I can't believe the shrunken head wasn't a clue. Yo, is this a two-way mirror? Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? You Humor. asshole. A camera. There's a room on the other side. Yep. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here. Look at these. There's all these shrunken heads everywhere. That means they make them here. It's a prop store. Well, but the thing is, the uh, the one that was in the car had the 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 uh the seam down the middle. Yeah. But these all seem real. So, what about in here? Uh, there's gotta be something in there still. What? To get to the room? That's a fake ass wall! Tear it down! Look at that. Get in there, Phelps. Crushing this. What a shitty facade. Yo, what's that beer label at? So he's gonna stop telling me that I did a good job? Or a bad job? Alright, get in the door. Yeah! Secret camera room location found. Dude, the Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. Oh, it's a porn it's a porn tape! It's a sex tape? Yeah! This is such bad evidence for them. So what happened to the film of Hamilton? Oh. oh. Maybe it's still in the camera? Could be more in here. Ugh. Gross. What about this? Is this the same brand? Fireball whiskey? Los Diablos. Fire brand whiskey. It's 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 gotta be tequila if it's in Spanish, but Okay. What's this? What's this? Can you Jungle Drums? Jungle Drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Alright. And a knife. Well, it's a little bit more than a knife, I'd say. Hmm. What was that sound? It's just this? Okay. Was there... Oh, fuck, I don't know. We still- there definitely- if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. That's real. Whoa, okay. Oh. Oh my god. It's a toilet? So there's another door? Around this way? What the hell? How do you get in the bathroom? Is it it's just a way to watch people while they're in the bathroom? That's gross. Is there anything out here? Oh my god. Oh, the masking! That's how they make the heads. So this is where you sprang from. Dude. Oh wait. It was giving me the, uh... Can you turn it the other way? No. You just wanted me to check out the craftsmanship on this? Alright.
Okay. More shrunken heads. Oh, there's a newspaper. Oh. Dope floods streets. Cops chase war. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. A cutscene, if you will. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business. This guy again. Who the hell is this guy? This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight out. Oh my God! This guy. You're learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. This guy's in Mad Men. That's right, Mr. Yeah. yeah. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen. How did this guy become a drug Lenny dealer? For you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. The psychiatrist. Yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Peace. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you what? with chemistry. But it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Take it. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? What the hell is going on? Do we miss a newspaper? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. What is this story? Weird. Very bizarre. All right. It's weird. I don't understand what this has to I do. I think, you know what it is? I think, like, the last... The big case is going to be this, you think? Yeah. Once we're on, like, mer like, like homicide or vice or whatever. Yo, are we missing a clue? It sounds like we are, right? I guess so, but... Like, is the music still playing? Dude, all this shit. This thing is a prop. Is any of this pertinent to my investigation? I don't know. Like, why is this whole area here? Just for us to walk through it that one time? Well, let's go back in there. Maybe, maybe we didn't... In here? Yeah. Maybe there's something in here we missed. Huh. Is this the bathroom? Oh, a whole other room. Not sure this means much. Alright, fine. When it makes the the chiming, right, and it goes da na na na, does that mean we're closer to the clue? I like don't know, it's like not clear. The bathroom. Yeah. Turn around. Mirror. Can we turn off the light in here? Is there well, a light switch in the I mean, we know that it's a... F right, but like... Did we get all the clues? I don't know, go into this room. I didn't hear the chime. But I also don't hear music. Go back outside to where the uh, newspaper was. See? This is the this is just the medicine again. Yeah. What oh, the but the music stopped. Maybe we did do it. All right. Whatever. That's let's, fine. Let's talk. If we mess up, we mess up. Can't yeah. always be perfect. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for. The uh, I don't know who that is. RKO Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah. 
When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You are... You're a liar, dude. You're oh, full but... of shit. Well, I know he's lying. I know he's lying, but if his physical indicator... Well, but the question is, like, what am I going to throw in his face? Uh, we have the fucking drugs. <laughs> well, uh, right. The hydrate. But what I'm saying is, we don't know... No, we do know, because at the scene of the crime... But we don't have no... Oh, this, maybe? No, the, the, we have the, the... What, if I, if I say he's a liar, what do I show him? The, the hydrate. The, the drugs? Yeah. Alright. So I should just call him a liar? Well, because, think of it this way, right? We know that, that Mark... He's trapped, this guy. This guy's trapped. We know that Mar Mark has to have been here because of the drugs. The right. drugs were in the girl's system. We know that Mark raped the girl using the drugs. Right. So the, the drugs that we, we she just had found in her system here. are yeah. in this room. All right. All right. All right. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Or, or, we have the fucking, uh, the empty, the empty, uh, fucking film case. You think I should go with this? Either it or says this. Mark, either one. All right, I'm gonna I think go it's with like this. A, a dual situation. I'm going with this. A 15 year old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Yeah! Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers Sorry. and directors use this place. <laughs> I, I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yes, you are. Now let's see if you're a truth boy. Where McCaffrey is this dude, bro? We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. I think he's telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah, that's truth. He doesn't look in any way dishonest He right looks now. the same as before, but that's No, again, last time he was like, nah. This time he's like very much more sure. That's true. All right. Yeah, okay. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Relationship with Ballard. You think Ballard. he's hiding on the set? Maybe. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them like You this, are full of shit. Yes, you are. Yeah, he's... You uh... <laughs> are full, full of shit. Yes, you are. Okay, but question. Evidence. What's the evidence? This? Wait, we're talking about Ballard, right? Yeah. Go to the... Wait. This? Keep going. Oh. No, keep going down. Down, down. I don't... No! Okay, hold on. This is simple. You know how we know? Huh. The the film canister. Because... But that has Jessica's name on Jessica it. Jessica Hamilton. Yeah, right. But Jessica Hamilton is under the care of June Ballard. You think that I should use the film canister and call him on a lie? Yeah. You think that's too much? What do you mean? Like, that's kind of a huge extrapolation. Are you sure? Well, okay, the guy just said he rarely meets the actresses, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he just said. Props or sweep the floor but we, got nothing better to we do. have proof in this case. All right, let's... We have proof because yeah. because if, if June Ballard is looking out right. for Jessica Hamilton, and she's a relative or friend of the family... He would have saw her yesterday. He would have saw her yesterday. All right, so I'm going to tell him he's a liar. He's a liar. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. Oh, he doesn't know the camera's there. He doesn't know the fucking camera's there. Or this. Oh, but if he doesn't know the camera, then the, the, the cancer still works. Well, right. What I'm saying is he's blackmailing him. He's like, you don't have anything on me. Here's Mark Bishop writing a $20,000 check to Hopgood. That seems like evidence of blackmail. Right? Bishop and Hopgood right there. Right, but... Or this. 
What do we? The thing is that we're. I feel like we're calling him out on two different things right now. Blackmail. What, I'm calling him out on blackmail. But no, we're we're talking about what Cole just said was you're black. You're black. He's you're blackmailing him. We're talking about right, but we're black. You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got Shut nothing up. better to do. Do you want me to give him the check or do you want me to give him the film reel? I think we should give him the film reel because we're talking about the relationship, yeah, not right. about the lie. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never filmed their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. Oh, shit! What? Went ape shit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Oh, shit! This went Whoa. the complete opposite direction than I thought. All right. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? What money? Motherfucker, Lie. let me tell you about this check we got. <laughs> I told you I get my cut selling dirty movies. You are a fucking liar. Here's a check. Check out this twenty thousand dollar check. Your wife. Twenty large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim twenty from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now. Holy God shit! God damn, that was tense. Oh, Helena Noir, the Boy, movie. Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant. Yo. How good is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important. Crooked one. cops. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. Crooked case. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Dude. Let's get out. Wow. This is LA Confidential. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. What the fuck? You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. Yo. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie Bob Yo. happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. Look at that. I'm going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Bukowski now coming in. Back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Wow. Get fucked. Oh, oh. I like your little pep talk, oh, shit. Get us out of here. What? Mom says. Oh, holy crap. We're in a fucking shootout. Kill him. Take no him way. out. I need to be closer, Cole. They really don't want anybody getting the mission before they do. Run off the road, Alex. Don't let him live. He's shooting him. I'll try and bust his tires. Got him. Is that one down? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Don't hurt anyone. We're fine. Oh. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. I guess we did it. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. 
Holy mackerel! Well, Christ, Set the destination to the movie place. Traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people Yo. off. Yo, damn. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop. We're about to Chinatown this bitch. Mine just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done. Put traffic stop. The line to protect some child molester. That's our job. Unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. All right, next time on Beard Bros, we're going to find out what the hell is yeah, going on at the LAPD. Gonna, yeah, something's not going right. We're going to go to the movie set and get down to business. Oh, my God. All right. Later, later, later man. man. So last time on Beard Bros, we just got into some serious man, shit. I don't know who's the good guys and who's the bad guys now. Right. Are you driving? I mean, I will be. Okay. Actually, you know what? Here's to the destination so you can drive. You drive. Fuck yeah. I need to go over the Jungle Jungle's drums. drum set. If he's hiding here, exactly he's a dumbass. Uh... Bukowski? Can you not get in the car? You can drive. You're behind the wheel. Weird. That was weird. Maybe he's just shaken up after that weird car chase where the mobsters tried to kill us. The cops are working with the mob! Dude, it's the 40s. Of course they are. I'm gonna clean up this town. Wow. Is this like a, now a homeless shelter? No, it's a rundown old set from like 20 or 30 years ago. There's Still. a slippery bastard now. No. Look at this dude. God damn it! Get him, Phelps! Let's I'll get him! Oh my god. Alright. Oh, there's landmarks? Oh shit. Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Yo, uh, the gun. I'm, tr I'm trying to. It, like, won't, he won't pull it out. I, th I think it wants me to chase him. We're trying to help you, Bishop! can't draw it. Unless I'm pressing the wrong button, but it's L2, right? Damn. Yeah. I, well, I mean, what's gonna do? He's running up a movie set. Yeah. It's us or McAfee's boys, your choice. Come with the cops, you dumb dumb. You didn't do anything. Yes, you, you did. Yeah, you raped a woman. You raped a woman, and you are like... You do it a lot. You got your wife because you raped her. Did he really rape his own wife? He said... He, he said... How? Oh! She said she was 16 when she met him. Doesn't mean that... Well... That girl made it all up! What? Did he just say the girl made it all up? Where'd he go? Oh my god. Why Hell don't no, I have he a didn't gun? just say that. I have evidence, motherfucker! Why don't I have a gun? He's gonna, he's gonna kill himself. That's my prediction. My prediction is that this dude is just gonna like... Where it's gonna get to the point where it's like a standoff. And then he's gonna like... <laughs> what? what the hell? He just didn't jump! He just... He just went... Uh, he started screaming before he even fell. Oh great, boy! <laughs> I love games and chases. That I, I love chases and games that aren't about chasing. His mechanics are so good. <laughs> Was he gonna kick me? Great. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. This guy majorly fucked up, though. Yeah, he's in trouble steps. What does this guy think he's doing? I don't know, but we're we at, look, it's we are the law. Boy, we're the cops. Right. He justice will be served. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. Yes, you totally did, dude. What the hell? Now we know not to go that way. I didn't even I like knew what was happening. I like tried to deal with it and he just didn't do anything and just ran off a cliff. Dude, watch watch like the other dude show up right now and be like, "Oh, you're Bishop. dead." The other cops? 
Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hammond. Damn. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. Oh! If you found me, this guy's a, an actor and all too. kinds of stuff. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. Oh, oh shit. shit. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh. What? Yo, where's our where's our our buddy? Christ detective, they're trying to kill me. Lukowski? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Back the hell down. Nice shot, Alex. Bro, I'm not messing around. Alright, how do I run? Can you not run? Oh my god. Shoot and run on the same button. You hear me? Oh my god, what's this? Kill them, for God's sake, I don't wanna die! Stop, dude! Red barrels, red barrels. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. Nice. We have to jump for it. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. What? Woo! What? I just jumped like nine feet. You lost your hack. Oh, get down! Kill a cop. That dude just took a shot in the chest. Is this really the best McAfee's got? Woo! Where is he? There he is. Oh shit. I shot his hat off. I shot his goddamn hat off. Woo! You have to get me out of here. Alright. Well, we, it seems like we're safe. Let's go. God. I love this game. It is really not easy to Down. control. Oh, shh. There's Barrel. there. I see him. There's a ladder leading how many the times do I have to shoot dudes in the head with a rifle before they go down? For the love of God, how many are there? I have bullet holes in each of my arms. Wow. Splinters. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. Shit. Follow him. I'm like trying my best. Look around. Barrels at the base of the elephant. What is he talking about? Look up. Right there. Dude, I just shot the bad guy from Dick Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> Al, you shot Al Pacino? Yeah. <laughs> is Al Pacino and Dick Tracy? Oh, He's the man. villain. Oh my car. god. I think that the last time I saw that movie was like when I was like so young that I didn't know who Al Pacino was. Yeah. He looks like DeVito's Oswald Cobblepots in that movie. It's weird. God, dude! Headshot McGee over here. <laughs> Someone get this man a purple heart. It's because I play all that destiny. Oh. <laughs> oh, Whoa, hell yeah. Tommy gun? Get into the car. I can cover you from here. You're almost there. There's so many dudes. Those are cops. Are they shooting at us? No, they're it's shooting the, at, the, at the people in red. There you go. There you go. Help him out. What those coppers? Yeah. Ooh, you gotta be careful. I know. I know. Where's the last one? I think he's behind the car. Yep, there he is. You're right. Stay in cover. All right. Well, he's, um, he's immune to bullets. There you go. All right. <laughs> that is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit. Catches a fat Damn. to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. 
That is justice. Capital J, Detective Phelps. Developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. <coughs> homicide, 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 homicide. Yo, why isn't he mad? Bukowski? Yeah. Why wouldn't he be- why would he be mad? Right, but like... I'm like, surprised he's not like, why didn't I get promoted? We all know who did the police work. You're a dick. He's the worst. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy <laughs> a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Oh, shit. This guy's gonna try and hire us for the mob. The Blue Room. Jazz club. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Big bands and swing. This guy sucks. Understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? God, this is felt. We're all wearing right. such Be ugly nice suits. Cool. You'll like this place. They treat you right. Like a table, Roy. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The oh my God. Pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe what is this? Night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. Oh my Whoa, god, nice we one. hate this guy. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Does he own the club? Alphonse? Yeah. I don't think so. No. It was but my damn. only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. You realize what he did? Dude, it's him. Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved dude, me. Dude, what if it's that dude? His hands on me. What dude? Hi, Elsa. The guy You're from the cutscenes. Like Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? See, she knows the LAPD's crooked. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a negro puts his hands on me. Wow. And this. Who do you think Holy you're talking about? Holy shit. German junkie whore. Cole. Don't you ever forget your place with me again? Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? I should arrest this guy. Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Dude, Meet Dr. he's like one of those crazy celebrity Dr. doctors that get some addicted to drugs. Fix it to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. Jesus. So what about that drink, boys? Why do we go backstage? Cole, you gotta say something, dude. That's fucking crazy, dude. Jesus. Is it me? Or are we fucking cops? Look at that. Promoted to homicide. Dude, homicide, yes! This is what I've been waiting for! We're gonna solve some murders, dog. It's gonna get real. That was a long fucking case. That took three episodes almost. Yeah, I mean, that was like the first like big story case. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> looks What's like the beard bros. Case? Looks like the beard bros are still hashtag perfect. Paid with good intentions. Let's read some fun facts about the about the quest we just did. Okay. Let's do it. Fun facts. What? Homicide desk not downloaded. Oh my god. Did it work? Yeah. Did it so. finally work? 
I want to. I want everyone to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want everyone to know that it's been weeks since we recorded this because yeah. we tried to install the homicide desk and it kept freezing the game. So we got the disc and then that was scratched, and then we went back and tried to it's download. It's been a nightmare. Oh my god. I'm glad this is working. I think we're in the beginning of homicide finally. Yeah, I think we are. No, no, no. no. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I forgot these are murders now. Oh. 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 That, blood hour is, three. oh. <laughs> that blood is in slow mo. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Oh my god. The Irishman. Fly He's back. The homicide squad has decided to take care of Just like the guy from LA Confidential. Yes. All Miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst. <laughs> I love the way this guy chooses his words. <laughs> Floyd's departure leaves a place Alex, we got a lot of tweets about how we shouldn't always let our partner drive because it'll ruin the case outcome. Okay, so we should just drive. Is this my homicide suit? You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Got a new partner? Oh, he's. Oh, I don't want to be an old dude. Your dude, where's Bukowski? Case is the murder of a woman found last night and burning all the signs of the werewolf. The werewolf? Get out to the scene, lads. What is the werewolf? I don't know. We're going. That's it. That's Bukowski. That's the end of Bukowski. Completed desk unlocks streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and attend the street crimes. Each desk offers a new set of crimes to attend. Oh! Oh my God! There's so much stuff to do the then. Address. It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Oh my God! Wow! All right. This is like a different game almost. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of feeling the, uh... I really the, like Bukowski. I, I really liked the, uh, other partner. I'd rather you took the wheel. Alright, so that already gives us to a good sign. So where are we going? Do we know where we're going? Uh, he gave me the address. Let's pull it up in our, uh... It's like on the... Oh my god. Ooh. Three out of 95 vehicles unlocked. I don't understand how I changed my vehicle. Maybe someday I'll figure it out, but this is not the same car that I May had May I before. remind you, sir, that you are a cop? And you don't need to wait for the signs? Let's Come go! Come on, man! Get in there! We're cops, dude! I mean, the person's already dead, right? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is, it's either gonna be him or Thad Green. Well, they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you. Oh my self. god, our partner hates I us! I ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Are you serious? Wow. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. Okay. What All right, there, buddy. The you don't have to be a jackhole. The, the Daily News came out calling Dahlia? the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Oh my God, we're doing the Black Dahlia murder. Not a it's a real murder. Yeah. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, though. Some guy gets into a beef. I'll with tell you what, though, he looked a lot like a murderer. This will be the same. Our partner? But no, the like, half and leaving them off the sidewalk. The like, That's dude who killed the woman. Why so many women this year? Yes! <laughs> he looked like a war. vampire or something. Sorry, everyone at home just sneezed into the mic. Didn't he look like a like a like Dante from like steampunk Dante or something? <laughs> Why? What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Yo, what's your deal, copper? I turned off my siren because it was annoying me, but I don't- I'm, I'm like not really running into that much trouble as long as I don't like hit my max max speed and lose control of the car. Actually, I'm just gonna use it. Alright. Just in case. Do, 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 do you think do, do, I can do. go on this road with my car? Yeah, you're supposed to go. See, cops. Oh, we're here. Okay. So should I just follow the road? Where are you, go where are you going I mean, down like, the Is the murder scene right here? Am I like yes. driving yes, into a murder you scene? you are, yes. I think that's probably not we the right. We are cops. Yes, these are cops. Right, I'm going to park right here by the cop no, cars. No, just walk over. Drive over there. Uh, but what if I contaminate the murder scene with my cop car? You're going to be fine. All right, now. Oh, he wants me to go. See? Dude, you he's see? running away. He All doesn't right. want you to hit him with the car. I just that's feel why. like I'm driving into a crime scene. Look, which... there, there's the scene All up right. there. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> See? It's we my arrived. first homicide case. I'm just nervous. I want to look good for the cool cops. 
I just want to look. I just want to look. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? Oh no, press. press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? You have a Watch your tongue, sir. Some respect for this poor you are in the presence of a perfect job, dick, and, and the other guy will later. someday, someday become a perfect good, dick. Rusty. He even Damn. Sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. Oh my yeah, god. Awful. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures. You got your headlines. Now scrap. Maybe I like this guy. I don't know yet. I don't like being him. I like. Well, I mean, look. The homicide guys are like... They're like dark, right? Because they just deal with dead people all the time. They like find out how bad people can be. So like, you know, they're not... Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's a different ball game, friends. Let's get Trollman, dangerous. Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. Okay. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. All right. It's uh, known locally as the morgue. So you think somebody picked somebody up for a date, scene? took him yes. to the makeout spot, and murdered him? No one's disturbed the body. Maybe. Oh, no, sir. We cleared oh, out that guy looked, like, too good to be, work. like... They're waiting to talk to you. Go out to the house and see what a you A random up. murderer. It seemed intentful, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying. He looked like a freaking like, villain from this a was, Disney movie. Yeah, he's... Okay, what's... Is this a clue? That... That... Okay. What can the, you tell me about the shoe? Ooh, size, size eight. 8 shoe prints. Okay. Size 8s. Tinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. How the hell did they do that in the Ford? Probably something that has to do with that dust, huh? All right, what else we got? What's that? Oh, there's a purse over there. Oh, it's just making the... God damn it. All right. There's something over there on the ground. Purse. I'm, yeah, I don't want to look at the... I don't want to look at the... No. ...victim till last. Patrick, Chris, you might need to add a little, uh... Sensor bar over the sensor vagina. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> Put your guys' heads as the, uh... As the, uh, sensor. We got a comb. Or a brush. Something on this? No. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to help. All right. It would have done that, like, press X to examine it yeah. more. As if we never learned how to do it. But maybe now that we're on the homicide beat, they just don't do it. Oh, what are we doing? Press X. Looks brand it's new. Lipstick. Oh, look. The red the lipstick the murder. That's the name of this case. Can't be the one used on the body. It's just hers. Does this matter? Oh, dude, he probably hunts chicks down who wear red lipstick. You think so? The name of the case is called the Red Lipstick Murder. Well, but you don't think that has to do with the fact that he drew all over the body with red lipstick? Well, yeah, but, like, <laughs> that's probably why he also did it. Because she has he, red he lipstick. He has, like, a fetish, you think? Yeah. Okay. Is this... Am I supposed to pull anything off of this? Classic cartels? Classic... There's no way that we're gonna... This, this probably doesn't matter. Okay. Is this just nothing? Really? Just the only... What's the clue? The fact that... We got, we got what, the lipstick. The... The fact is that she had lipstick? Yeah. F unused lipstick in the bag? Found it in the Cartel container classic bag. carmine? All yeah. Right. All right. Let's go Let's go investigate some more. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, here. exhibit A. What, we got? what the hell is that? There's a, a golden globe? globe? Some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Ooh, the Da Vinci Code? Oh, my God. Oh, we're puzzle boys now. Super Codex, bros. Well, uh, are you doing this wrong? I don't think so. Right? Oh, I can't. I see. I can't move the bottom one. There you go. Open sesame. I can't believe this. It's a lighter. Oh, it's a lighter. <laughs> steal a table lighter. Oh, dude, guess where we're going next. The Bomba Club, the Bahama baby. The Bomba Club. <laughs> guess where it's located. <laughs> six two six North <laughs> Spring Downtown. <laughs> it looks. I, you know what? If I found this and it wasn't at a murder scene, I would be like, hell yeah, I'm going to the Bomba Club. That, 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 that. I think it doesn't look like there's anything that? else we could pick up here and look at. Oh. Okay. What's this? Incidental. Incidental. Great. Ticket to theater. This could be something. Optimistic call. All right, talking to himself because he's being a jerky jerk. He's being a jerky jerk. Uh, so we should go to the body now, or what's? Is there anything else around here? Okay. Let me let's see. What do we have so far? All right. Oh, 
am I, am I being ignorant? Is there somebody that I need to talk to? What was that square to talk? The coroner, maybe? He's been our, like, homie, you know? Yeah. Should I go look at the body and then talk to him? I'm gonna look at the body. Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. It looked like he beat her to death with a cane in the thing that Phelps didn't see, right? Like, or, or whatever it was. Something that was making her bleed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. God, look at that. That's fucked up. What, what caused the blunt force injury to the face? Yeah, oh, blunt force. The, the, the fucking tire iron that the dude did. Well, we don't know. I mean, well, whatever it was. Cole doesn't know, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we know blunt force trauma on the head. Uh, she does have stomp marks all over her can we... fucking chest. Okay. Just in case. Oh, her ring. What about it's gone. This on the finger. Oh, Nothing yeah. Removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Okay. Somebody robbed her? Kid, I don't think this was a robbery, though. Can we, I mean, did you look at the, the writing? Can we look at it at all? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Fuck BD. Fuck you, BD. T. What, what is that? What does that other word say? T E. Tex. Tex. T. -E. Fuck. I don't know. Fuck you, BD. T. Maybe I'm going to look at my notes. What does the writing on the victim mean? Oh, here we go. BD. Black Dahlia. Oh. Fuck oh. you, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it. Or Dude, I want to hang out with this guy. The corner is tight. Yeah, I'm going to bring this guy. I want to I want to bring him a beer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want to take him out to one of these cool bars that we keep going to. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the Bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Do I need to talk to this guy still? I need to get back to it, Phelps. Well, the, the chime music stopped. Okay. So, so I think it's time bomba. to move on. Bomba time. All right, we're gonna Dude, get. My to partner's like, "Fuck this, let's go." We're gonna go to the Bomba Club next right time. now, and then next time on Beer Bros, when we, uh, it will, it'll just be us at the club. It just feels like a short episode because the first half of this episode was played so long ago. Right. But uh, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go to the Bomba Club. Should I, should I drive there now? Yeah. You'll one day learn how to drive, Alex. You got this. Dude, I believe this is you. how you drive a car. You're just so polite. We're cops, dude. This is how you do it. You we know are what I mean? cops. Well, I wouldn't be a hero if I wasn't we following the rules. We need to work the evidence. <gasps> wow! <gasps> See, that's what I'm saying. Oh! Ball. That guy was like, never mind, I'm not going to cross the street now. Get out of the way! Why is he being a dick to us? There's a difference. Because he's... Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. He doesn't okay, uh, trust uh, me yet. more likely? Werewolf comes back around and you know, this is somebody that he need, I need he to get used to solving power, crimes with. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a freebie. That's okay. not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? This is so interesting. I love that they like hate the media for like ruining their investigations. That's real. Yeah. It's like the biggest problem in like modern day media. Yeah. That's an issue we do it today, dude. Shout outs to Steve Avery. How to catch a murder, also serial. Anon, I'm on your team, dude. You don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. Found I don't know, man. What? Was it? Was I don't. We shouldn't really spawn into this stuff. No, 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 right no. Now. We'll do it later. Yeah. Is is the Black Dahlia murder an unsolved case? I'm not sure. I never watched that movie. Fraser, would you mind looking it up for us? I I never watched that movie because I always heard that it was like not that good. Am I like going the wrong way? I'm just gonna drive through the. Fucking park. What what is going on here? You're a cop. Put on your sirens. Can I get over this? Oh my god. Did you get the car stuck? <laughs> I literally can't I literally can't get out of the I can't I can't do it. I'm stuck. Oh my god. 
Why don't we have him drive to the right. next location here? All right. Let me see if, if that'll work. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> Please work. Thank God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got it stuck, so you had to make the partner drive. You know, you know how it is. I'm just trying to follow the rules, and they don't tell me which way to go. I'm just guessing where, where, how to get to the flag the most efficient way. Does this place have a garage attached to it? No. Yeah, I think I used to. I think I had KBBQ here. Next time on Beer Bros, we're gonna go inside. But first, Patrick, what is the? Uh, why did I say Patrick? Unsolved. Frazier. Unsolved. unsolved. Black. Unsolved. The Black Dolly murders are have been have gone unsolved. Do I have any? Damn. That's crazy. Do I have any more? Uh, new, uh, I can't change my suit? No, dude, we're cops. All right. All right. Next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros, we're going to go inside we're going there. The Bomber Club. Later, Later man. man. Guess what? What? We're cops and we're at a club getting crunk on a Tuesday. Hell yeah. Daytime, baby. Day By the way, I figured out that this suit that I'm wearing right now is called the Sword of Justice suit. It makes it more dangerous at night. Really? Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, heading on in. Let's go inside. Let's get down to the beginning of this red lipstick murder. All right. Oh, cutscene. All right. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here oh, last dude, night? Oh, dude, this bar looks yes. tight. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. All right, Garrett. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you oh, remember man, a woman who shady. came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds. Blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about Do her? Do we know that was her I name? No. The owner, Mr. McCall, okay. serves him most At least us personally you know. Speak to him? Okay. Would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? A hibiscus? Is there anything else? Like the flower? Fire away. All right, let's go talk to McCall then. Or Mc McCall. Me three fingers of rye. Three fingers of rye? Holy shit. See you hey, later. it's 5 p.m. somewhere, I guess. All right. All right, where are you at? So I'm going to go talk to McColl. Is that this guy with the hibiscus? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of... I feel like this is going to be an actor. Do you know her? Celine? Sure, I know her. She and I. Oh, they totally they hooked up at one point. She was here. She and I night. and her husband. Sure, she's a regular. Selena's. Was a. Lovely woman. I'll tell you, he looks. Super shady. Let's talk about the victim. Look how shady. He looks like nah, Don he, Draper. He seems a little shaken up. Well, we'll see. All right, let's see how he acts. Suspect seeing the victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head He does start. seem a little sad. She attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Uh, what? Let's look at... Okay. Let's just wait. Let's this guy his face. has, like, crossed eyes or something, right? You think it's the actor and not the game? I don't mean... I don't know if it's the actor or what, but, like, that guy's eye is, this like, guy, this going guy. crazy on the... Ooh. A little bit, but it I, doesn't look like he's, he's telling the truth. Yeah, like, look, I mean, we gotta look. I mean, he's not going like ooh, but his nah, eyes like he's he's truth, boys. I right. say he's telling the truth. Yeah. Right. You know him? No. He's been in a couple. Maybe years. he'd recognize him. Did they leave together? Yes. At around eleven. They left together. It helps. I he made, made the, the license, license plate? plate. Really? Why did he? Why did he? Why did he? Why did he do that? Well, whatever, I'll take it. But this seems like it's like shady, right? I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Why didn't you get this was sooner? Well, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, because he didn't oh. know she was missing. But it's weird that Round. he would, we got an achievement. It would, it's weird that he would take it down. I'm I want to just make a note of the fact that I'm suspicious of him pre like prepping a license plate. Sure. Cuz that could mean that he's trying to get somebody blamed. All right, let's I mean? ask about the ring. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet okay. ring on the large side. Larger than life, like 
Selena, so. This guy dresses better than anyone sure. in this game. It's way back in her flying days. Flying Did her days? Husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Jacob. Oh, you gave her the fucking ring, didn't you, buddy? Oh my god, oh, look yeah. at this. Now, now he's, he's not yeah. lying, but that motherfucker's hiding something. Yeah, it was I you. I say we doubt the boy. It was you. You're the one. Doubter, doubter. You've been in love with her from before. You bowed her. I think you know where the <laughs> ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. Yeah, Carried boy, what I tell you. Carried a torch. Yes, I always have. Regular Sam and Diane oh, situation. Her old man never knew about it. Let's talk about the husband a bit. What are you doing? <laughs> he looks so nervous. Oh, you gonna cry. Look how nervous He's he looks gonna now. He's going to cry. Let's get in his head. All right. Because All right. we're cops. <laughs> you know Let's get him. Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. Me, too. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Oh, you! What okay. a shady Hold thing to on. say. Hold on. What? He's not lying. Yeah, look at him. But I he needs kind of doubt him. He needs a glass of water. Get him. <laughs> Frazier, get him a glass of yeah. water. Let's get, get this, this guy, guy. Let's get this guy a glass let's, of water. Let's get him. Let's reach into the game and yeah. give him a glass let's of water. Let's give this guy a glass of water. Yeah. I, I, so if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. What? I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. What? Thanks. So we have... Oh, look at that. Uh, is that us being perfect dicks? Uh, dude, I checked my pants earlier, and I'm pretty sure I'm still a perfect dick. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, time to go talk to Jacob and get to the bottom of this bullshit. Oh, we got a call. No, we got a call. It's calling that plate we just got. Yep. Where's your phone? Dude, I want to drink in this bar all the time. Shoutouts to Tiki T in Silver Lake Echo hey, Park area. Hurry? Los Feliz. <laughs> just starting to warm up nicely. I need to use your phone, ma'am. Can't use it? Can I just talk to the woman? Can I use your phone, please? Where is that? Oh, it's oh, the pay it's phone, the dude. Pay phone. It's not that <laughs> white phone that looks like the phone in the picture. No. <laughs> Operator, message for KGPL. Yeah, KGBL. Phelps, Yo, everyone has been telling me that this game is the one of the worst games ever to let's play. But we are killing it. How is this? How is this a bad let's this play? This is so fun. People are telling you this let's play is bad. No, like I'm having this a game is no, this game is hard to let's play because no, it's not very good. People just didn't realize. People just didn't Thanks realize. People didn't know the true greatness of two men. People just didn't realize how we would crush this. I totally missed the entire conversation. I need to check my clues. <laughs> <laughs> license plate? Yeah. Okay. License plate of vehicle. Nothing. Transferring. Oh, we just called it in. We just asked for we it. We just asked for it, yeah. So okay. we'll probably get a response later. So we gotta go talk to Jacob, you think? Oh, we gotta go we gotta talk to- go to the Henry to residence. I gotta go- Where's my partner? I guess he's in the car. Where's the car? To the right. To the right. There oh we go. Oh my god, he parked He's in, in the, the car ready to go. Alright. I'm gonna drive again, but this time I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try not to. Oh, come on, man! Who's using my PS3? Uh, okay. Henry Residence. Don't hit me with your car. I am police. I... Yo, we're the me? cops! What's wrong with you? All right. The booze helps you get through a working day. Sure Roasting this guy for drinking on the job. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. Whoa, oh, dude, we're getting into that LA confidential <laughs> zone, dude. <laughs> That's mighty kind of stuff. Wow. Well, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirsty friend. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility He's is so all squeaky the more clean. Serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. 
Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard I agree with Phelps. The short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Oh, we're going to be there. Be I'm going to solve the Black Dahlia Pearl murders. Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have I'm taken changing history. Fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a I just wanted to be able to hear him without that. Yeah, no, I got you. Drink slowing you down. Oh my God, brother, oh brother, worse than I could ever have imagined. No, be like super tight. It's like a little yellow line telling me where to go so that I don't get lost. Okay. Twenty century unit. The citizen reports a man with a gun. On Grand between fourth and fifth. Uh, ah! Killed the man. Killed the man. Could oh my god. What is this about? I just killed a man. You didn't kill him, you almost hit him. He would have died if this game was real. You... They just walk into the street while I have my siren on. I don't understand why they would do that. You kind of swerved into him and it made him scared. I tried to swerve around him. We gotta work in the communication skills. What do you mean? I'm great at communicating. It's my number one skill. What's your second skill? Driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is so. This Can takes you so drive much, faster? I'm literally flooring it right now. I can't. This, this takes too much time. That's what I'm saying. That's why I like the partner to drive. It's keeping our pace good. Whoa. Off. It's so annoying. Yeah, this is pretty far away. Like this is this is too much time. Like this is why this is why it's better to fast travel. But I, I go left. Here we go. Maybe I can find somebody to like spoiler free tell us when we need to drive or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that I can. All like, right. Save so time. here we are. All right. So I'm gonna park right here, and we're gonna go handle this. Is it across the street or is it this one? Oh, it's across the street. Oh, that's fine. Whatever, we're there. Don't honk at us, we're cops. It's only 11 a.m. That guy had three fingers of whiskey. Let's go inside. The sword of justice is on the case. What's going on? This house looks like abandoned. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Huh. Do you think that guy's crooked? Our our cop friend? Yeah. Uh hard to tell, honestly. Dude, the window's broken. Dude, this guy is like hardcore. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Okay. Somebody's creeped the joint? Oh, go back. Newspaper on the floor. Oh, yeah, there it is. Family burnt to death? Okay, let's figure out what's going on. I'm so interested in where this story's leading. The superseding one? Just this, like, overarching, like... Yeah. Because we've got a little glimpse of it now, right? Like, we we've seen the man now. We've seen the doctor now, so right? I had to go back, doctor. Yeah, I think so. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Dude, are he's... you taking the medication I have prescribed? Whoa! You said the house would be empty. He's f tricking people I into heard murder. Them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. Oh my You're God. Me. The deaths were unfortunate, but you have dealt oh my with death God, before. Dude. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal you with it. You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Wow. This is like happening right now. That's the thing that's crazy about this. I think I have that album. Big Band America. I have something. I have an album that looks so much like that. All right. 
Let's look for clues. Should go to the window first, huh? Burglar used the yeah. pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? <laughs> I think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit. You got another <laughs> thing coming. <laughs> Yo, if suits were thirty dollars, I'd wear nothing but suits every day. Dude, right? All right, what are we looking at? Not much help. Mr. Bowl. All right. <laughs> oh, fridge on the note. Note on the fridge. Note on the fridge. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment two. 1050 Huntley Lord Drive. Jacob are obviously having problems. Oh. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still okay. goes against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this to be feeling the back of my hand. Jesus. Call in burglary and get technical what is services it? out here. What is the I'll chime? The neighbors. It's chiming. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when Canvas I'm the neighbors? Oh, the shoes on the floor? Yeah. Female shoe. Galloway, homicide, size nine. nine. Yeah. The girl that seen was a size eight. Yeah. At but the shoe size was hers or the or the murderers? Well we the murderers will say it was a male as far as we know. Right. It looked like a male, too. Like no. Oh. It looked like a male, like we saw him. So the chiming stopped. Maybe we should go talk to the neighbors. Did it? Yeah. How many clues have we found so far? We found the shoe. Yeah, we found the, the forced sh entry. That might be enough. I mean, let's go talk. Oh, to actually, wait. Hold up. We we only explored a part of the house, right? Yeah. I mean, well, let's go. Let's like go to their room. Maybe there's like yeah. blood stains or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look great in here. Okay. Who broke into the house is the other question. Oh, picture, oh. dude. Dude, oh, her, those goggles. She said she was a pilot, right? A regular Amelia Earhart her day. Oh, yeah. my God, look at that ring. Oh, the ring. Okay. Okay. What do you got here? Oh, it's the ring. Open it up. Okay. Tiffany. The, stuff is the ring's not there. Explain the missing ring. But, oh, because it was a Tiffany ring that he just he, stole it for that reason. Circumstantial. Okay. Ah, still the chime. We're that done. That was it. <laughs> All right, now we can go talk to the neighbors. Let's go talk to the neighbors and find out what really is going on with the Henrys. <laughs> What's up with the Henrys? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's up? Ma'am, how are you? Around here anymore. Are you being mean? LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Oh my Jennifer god. Horgan. Whoa, Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Hork Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? She's in Mad Men, I think. Go out last night. Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not That's the sort of window. person who can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered. Damn. Oh my That's got to be the hardest part of the job. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. That's the most real reaction we've had this whole game. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh. So marital problems. That's a clue. Is there more neighbors to canvas or is that it? I think that... Mm, doesn't seem like there's anybody else, right? I don't think so. No. Should Artist. we head to the secret apartment? Yeah, he, he's he's ready to go. For himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Should I tell him to drive? Oh, like oh, let's just go. You want me to drive? Yeah, be be good about it. Jacob's apartment. All right, let's do it. Can't be that far away. 
Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that. She probably deserved it. Get the Whoa. fuck out of here, dude. He says bring him in. Keep the hacks off her back. Hashtag 1940s and 50s. So it ain't the werewolf killer after Jesus. all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated <laughs> a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still Yeah, is. I don't think it's I don't think it's not I, I don't think it's the husband. I don't think so either. It doesn't seem like it's the husband because he, why would he draw really on her? really want this to help people out. Yeah, why would he draw on her? And also the the lipstick wasn't used that was in her purse. It was right. like somebody else's lipstick, which <coughs> might mean it's a woman. No, we saw the dude though. We saw the cutscene. You're right. I just I don't know. It's weird that the, the lipstick she had on her wasn't the lipstick that got used. Oh my god, it's over just there. Go straight. You need to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, world. Eh? Eh? <laughs> so why does he have a second apartment? Yeah, I know. It's like, oh dude, we have guns. Guns out. Whoa, are we using the Kappa guy? I don't know. This is such an LA apartment, by the way. Like, this is like so LA. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Oh, damn. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh for RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's, We're going to have a look around, I, then we'll talk. Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry. I, uh, Yo, if he did do it, he wouldn't stick around. <laughs> you know, he would have ran. The alcoholism illness. I get even the slightest hint that you're I don't think this is any pal. I mean, that's. I mean, it's not a clue, but it's a clue about something else. Yeah. Uh. Oh, the fan. Five minutes of Freddy's is the fan. It's always the fan, Alex. It's always the fan. <laughs> Jeez, don't say shit like that. Why Sorry. are you such an asshole, dude? Oh, dude, I can like. Oh, Trace Boys. Can you do anything with it? Or you are? There we go. Keep doing it. It's such a weird way to do it. <laughs> I have to. Thanks like, for about the. Thanks for the offer. Need you to do something about my wife? Oh my god. Thanks for the offer. Need you to do something about my wife. The oldest problem there is. What to do about Check the, the old Check the little quarters we can see more of the mess. Oh, I pretty, think that's okay, it. Okay, yeah. fine. Damn. What's in here? Suitcase, eh? Planning to go somewhere? Size 11. Size 11s. God damn it. Okay. What? Nobody's involved in this murder has the right shoe size. Oh, Zelda chime. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, let's go talk. All right, sir. Let's have a little chitty chitty bang bang. Chatty chatty bang bang. All right, tell us about your wife. Here we go, baby. Movements of victim. Let's so who could go. Have Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look. I don't know. Can I just uh, borrow? I want to borrow a word. Yeah. From uh, Serge Tonkian's uh, album, Elect the Dead. Okay. The name of the song, or rather the word I want to borrow is. Sure. Lie, 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 Husband's alibi, lie, lie, lie. Club owner McCall reports telephoning <laughs> Jacob Henry repeatedly on the night of the murder. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so liar. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Yeah. Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. You, you are, are such lie, a liar. lie, 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 <laughs> lie. <laughs> <laughs> My baby, my baby. We know she went to the bar. <laughs> my baby. I've never heard that song in my it's life. It's so good. <laughs> the bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. 
He's just trying to protect your reputation. Call me last night. But no, he he wrote a letter about you got to kill my wife. Well, we don't know that. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. <sighs> Last contact with the victim. Oh, this guy wants to fight. He just doesn't He's look. He's blood. He just he doesn't wants look. Blood. <laughs> He when just doesn't look your wife, super Jimmy? believable. Last I don't know. Night, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. And then she went out drinking. Well, I, I think he he's, looks I like think he's, he's telling, telling the truth. The truth. Yeah, he looks like he's telling Let's the truth. Let's go truth, boys, in this one. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive. Did that guy just yawn look, and try and cover it? I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Checks out. Right around 9. Yeah. Motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Jesus. Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Lie, 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 lie. Do you think it's a full lie or do you think I should doubt him? Dude, we have the fucking death note. The death note? The, the threat. The book that you can the write? The death threat note. This? He's a liar. You think I should hit him with this? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Liar. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, big mouth? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, when they it's start called getting, that fucking death. When they start getting nasty about it, that's when you know they're they death got caught. Death red no motherfucker. <laughs> I've never. Beard Bros. Homer, go listen to this song. I've never heard of this my song baby. before in my life. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Nailed it. Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her was God damn. troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? This guy ah, is a good DA actor at least. All gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh! Whoa. Fight him. Go, Alex. I don't know punch how to him. do it. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember how to block. Punch him! I can't do anything. Nothing. Punch. No button is doing anything. R2. I'm doing it all. I'm pressing R2. Nothing is hitting. Nothing is hitting him. What do I do? What do I do? I can't. I couldn't throw a punch. Every button. No. Nope. Not over. Run. Run. No button run is away. punch. Fuck this. You're you're alive. How do I hit him? How do I hit him? How do I hit him? You gotta get good. What do you mean get good? Get good. The. Nothing is a nothing is punch. We're still gonna need. Shh. God. <laughs> Literally, no button is hit. No button is punch. Square. This doesn't look good for you, Jacob. Okay. All right, whatever you just did was dodge. X is punch. Okay. There you go. 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 What are you? Who, come on, get in there. Why are you stopping? I'm not stopping. Can you block when he does that or no? Hey, oh, oh, oh! What an awful thing. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Call it in and get no a button does anything, dispatch. you guys, except for the one that Check Alex is screamed with. I tried, you look, he put his hands up when I pressed L2, and then I pressed every button on the controller and he didn't swing. And then all of a sudden it started oh, working. Oh, yo, phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, where is it? Oh. What's up? Um Operator, give me dispatch. I need uh, a little bit of information here. Oh, uh, what's up? Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. What is he calling for? How can I help, detective? I need a patrol. Oh, he needs to just get pick up. Back to I can't believe he punched a police officer. Certainly, what an detective. idiot. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Well, okay, so our original idea was right. So the cause of death was the blunt 
No. So the, the cause of death was the blunt. Were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fracture. So she really did get stomped. Wow. Jesus. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch. Whoa. No trace of okay. The anus, vagina, or stomach. It doesn't Thanks, fit. Doctor. Operator, give me R and I. I think unless, so. unless he hired like a fucked up rapist to Any kill her. Yeah. For that vehicle, license was two boy eight eight nine nine. Two boy. Yes, detective. <laughs> the plate belongs two to boy eight eight. From Star Wars: Kodiak. Force Awakens. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four zero two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Alonzo. Thanks. We're gonna have words, Alonzo. Any other messages? One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. All right, so oh, we're going to go interview we're Jacob. In. We're, we're going to go, go bring him back. Bring him back and yeah. So we'll go inter so we'll go interrogate him next episode. No, let's and, keep going. And then we'll go check out Alonzo. This is a oh. long episode, bro. No, it's not. It's a half hour. It's always good bros to be half hour bros. You're crazy, bro. Let's just interview him. I want to find out what the fuck happens to this punk. You know what? Why don't you just go back to the police? Have him drive. Let's go back to the police. Let's go have him drive. We know that nothing bad's gonna happen on the way to the police one? station. I, we never know. Boy's home again. Her brother said she took a real pounding. Oh my god. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit Capital with the lady Neanderthal. Galloway. <laughs> Women love me. What is it? I have no complexion. Oh my god, hit it. Exactly hit it. Oh my do. god, if what he's he hit doing? that sign or that woman, I would have laughed. Where? Oh my god. Ah, Alright. And just to be clear, I didn't mean hitting women's funny, I just mean like, there happened to be a woman standing there and he backed into it. My question is, how do I change my car to many of the other secret cars that I've unlocked? Maybe we can just take a car. <laughs> you mean like, like Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. No. There's no way that my, my partner yeah, would be like... Yeah, dude, just take a car. My partner would just be like... Just take a car, dude. He wouldn't be like, oh, we'll you just, want this we'll one just, now? Dude, we'll just pull the page in a SoFlo Antonio's book and just uh, repost the videos. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Whoa. Yo, I just scared myself. I looked, I looked in the reflection of the of the uh, TV and I saw my new haircut and I was like, oh, who's that guy? Who is me? Who's that guy behind me? No idea. <laughs> All right, police station. Perfecto. Yeah, I kind of like our partner, but I kind of hate him. But I think that's kind of nah. Cool. I'm with her. I'm with you on that. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. Me. Yeah, but he's like kind of good. But that's kind of how we felt about Bukowski too. That's true. But he came around quick. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsystem pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. This guy is like a holy paladin of justice. Oh yeah, we're so ready. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jake. The public will seem easy to me. He's not our dude, but we'll fish it out of him. I don't want to convince him to. Confess no, no. to a murder that he didn't do. No, no, we're gonna prove his his innocence now. Now we're reverse boys. Reverse well, boys. Yeah. Put him down in my sap. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. Don't access tell any to lies. The, access to the murder weapon. You Let's do go. Good work, Jacob. I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools. Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? He's so uh, intense when he asks questions. You are not home in bed. You have an alibi, you idiot. Uh, so what should I just hit him with a lie again? He's a liar and then bring up the alibi. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her oh my the God. and took her out to the moors. She woke up. And you smashed her face in with a socket No. Touch. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you Holy like shit. Holy shit, Cole. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob. Holy and shit. And you want to erase all memory of it. Go on. 
Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. Alibi, dude. What did he say the alibi was? The club owner, remember? The club owner called him on the night of the murder. Yeah. Where did he call him? His house, right? Yeah. So you think that the reason we prove that he's not home is because he didn't answer the phone? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. What the fuck are you talking she about, you dumbass? Here. Famous in her day. Oh, wow. He's like, like, it's my bird. fault she's an alcoholic? She yeah. Come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was this guy oh. had a rough time. That was never going to be enough. All right, lipstick markings. Let's get to it. BD. It. Everything points to you. Tex. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe it's a guy named Tex who killed him. Killed that dude's him? that dude's telling the truth now. He's a truth boy. Well, wait a second. Let's just see if his eyes do anything weird. Just for a second. Nah, he's locking eyes. Yeah. What? Oh no. He's yeah. All right. That's truth. I need a reason to believe. <laughs> you want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. Everything's calm and hot, bro. One person loves the other more than life <laughs> itself and always puts them first. This guy's I'm sorry. bearing his heart to you. I'm sorry. No I'm sorry. <laughs> Hashtag perfect dick. <laughs> oh my god. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. All right. Let's talk about the marriage, my dude. Your marriage. Oh my god. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. Um, Yo, we have to call him a I liar. Got, I, I least doubt it, but we have the we neighbor's have, testimony was that they fought for hours, right? Exactly. I think he's a liar, and we have Horgan's testimony to prove otherwise. Hulk Horgan. Hulk Horgan. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> or Chris, I want you to take a picture of Horgan and Hork put Hollywood. Her Hork <laughs> Hollywood Horgan. You blast. <laughs> I am a real American for like two seconds. All right, so I'm gonna hit lie. Lie. I'm gonna go yeah, for he's it. a liar. All right. Lying. Look at those eyes. It's just been a apart. really long time. We still like, haven't fucked I'm up, so I'm just totally super nervous. You, how it was. you fought, dude. Dude, you fought Horgan's testimony. Horgan, dude. Horgan. Horgan. Marital problems. Horgan. You had a black eye after you fought. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. What the fuck? I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. All right. Okay. Let's talk about that jewelry. So what Why about you the break ring? Into your wife's house, Jacob. Why steal the ring? What? Dude. What are you talking about? I've Why steal key. the ring? Why would I need to break it? McCole in? wants the ring. McCole. The dude who gave her the ring wants the ring. Yeah. So he's telling the truth. Yeah. He has a key. Why would he break into his own home? Yeah, he wouldn't have to break into his wife's house. No, nah, this guy didn't do it. Yeah, that's right. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. Oh, see? I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. This guy is like In that case, the worst. I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I kind of like the partner. I kind of like the partner. Dude, perfect dick, baby. <laughs> oh, perfect. 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 
Phelps. You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. God damn, this guy is really brutality. Awesome. I'm deeply disturbed by What? This what did I do? What? Whoa! Chief, we did our goddamn job, dude. Dude, I've never felt Next more like... time on Beer Bros, we're gonna take our foot, turn it sideways, and stick it up the chief's ass. You know what I need to do? Huh? I think I need to change my clothes into somebody, th something more ass kicking. Oh, yeah? Like what? Should I go back to the sharpshooter with the big guns, or should I be able to take more punches? It's more, it's more symbolic. Let's be the Broderick. The Broderick. The Matthew Broderick. Uh, yeah, you know, one time, <laughs> Matthew Broderick- can do it. Matthew Broderick killed somebody with his car one time. Yeah. It's appropriate for the homicide death. True. Next time on Beer Bros, Alex, which of the day, what is it? Never forget Matthew Broderick. What's the, uh, can still pull down what? Oh, oh homework of the day is to, uh, look up Lie, 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 lie by Serge lie. Tonkin. Uh, but no, there was a question of the day, too. Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know the questions. I can't remember what it was. We'll figure it out. Question of the day, what's the most expensive suit you've ever bought? There you go. I bought like a $200 suit for my grandmother's funeral. Next time on the Beard Bros Podcast Show thingy. Beard Bros Podcast Show thingy. Beard Bros Podcast Show thingy. All right. All right. See you guys later. Later, man. Bye. Time to get in the car. Oh, oh wait. No, we already did. Oh, We're here. Oh, oh, Are we oh. here? No, we no, need to okay, get, in yeah, the car. get in the car. Should I drive? Why not? Get in I, that car, this, boy. This is tripping out. Welcome back. Hi, I'm Gerald. Hi, I'm Albert. Your name's not Albert. <laughs> Your name isn't Gerald. Well, the world. Th you know what, guys? We're just the off brand version of Hey Arnold, okay? Yeah, I got you. All right, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we need to go to Mendez's. Apartment. Let's go to Mendez's. Let's go to Mendez's. Yo, Gerald. What are you. Everybody needs to chill. I'm, I'm always chill. I'm that's not true. Police. I need to go. I'm always chill. That's the truth. Unless the fucking fight controls don't work, and then, you know, that's when you, <laughs> you don't know what to punch. That's when I order three fingers worth of rye, and I learn about the realities of being a cop. So who is Mendez exactly? Can we get a recap? On Mendez who? owns the car that the guy McCall made the license plate for. But I'm starting to suspect because he had that license plate number ready to go before he even knew the cops were coming. Yeah. And it's also he has motive to steal the goddamn ring back. Alonzo so I'm a little bit nervous. Sounds you like think it's a, a frame job? As the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in here. Oh my god, he's racist, dude. Enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want. You're sober. So oh my god, dude. Never sober up. Exactly. Damn. This guy's a bad cop. This guy's bad at his job. Sir, I'm gonna need you to get out of the street and don't smoke. It's bad for you. Don't smoke, it's bad for you. A little more uh, rush hour humor for you guys. <laughs> Remember when, Yo, thank uh, you guys for making the Saw episode so popular. It's the most popular episode of the year so far for Completionist. The most popular episode of anything on YouTube? Is that what you said? No, of the Completionist so the most far. Most popular of this video year. of 2016? Of so far, Saw featuring the Super Beard Bros. That's the biggest one. Biggest one so far. Eat it, Sai. So, get, get it, Gangnam Style. <laughs> Only, uh, like, two billion more views to go. We'll catch so up. So was it apartment 16, they said? Yeah, on the fourth floor. Mendez, apartment 16. Mendez. Shout out to that super high-res number art there. All right. <laughs> Mendez. Fourth floor? Yeah. Because you figure there's only so many... Yeah, see, look. Go back. I get it. Bam. I get it, game. If there's Here. four... The apartment's up on the top floor. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Feel okay. the burn! Okay. I don't think any of these people are voting for Bernie Sanders. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. All right, you heard the man. Oh! Take a look around and see what you can find. Okay. Uh... What are we, what are we looking for here? Let's see. Is this a thing? Doesn't okay. Like the main, you know, honestly, of all the things that I'm looking for, the main thing that I want to find you want to know what it is? I'm going to say 
you're gonna want to find because one is like, thing this, that this hasn't is a, added up yet. This is a common thing we've been finding at every crime scene is a shoe. That's what I'm saying. I want to find a shoe that That's says size, size eight. eight. Yeah. Survey says you're a size eight boy, aren't you? Dirty size eight Ooh. shoe. Mr. Mendez, you Ooh. sick puppy. Mr. Mendez is oh, the one Mr. who's Mendez, been a murder boy. You nasty, nasty boy. Let's look around for some more stuff. Right. Ooh, some more. Oh my god. Is that a gun? Okay. Seems irrelevant. Seems irrelevant? It's a gun! It's a handgun, bro. It doesn't get more relevant than that. I mean, maybe she didn't get shot, but... What else am I looking for here? What do we think? Well, if he's the killer, the the weapon must be here. What? Let's look for more. What was that? Oh, a key? I don't think so. These are all things that are like such clues. A gun and a key? What if it's the key to the car? What is that? Where are we looking? This? That's the front door here, right? Yeah, that's where we came from. Kitchen? We heard it earlier, didn't we? The chime? Eggs? Not sure this I love me some eggs. Because all I know is eggs! Guys, check out our new album, Big Big Bad Bosses. Power Overwhelming is available now on iTunes. Let me shift a roll hard. <laughs> Wait, those rancheros! This is just nothing, right? This is a Oh, Bunga Negro! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Back in the room, maybe? Oh. Oh my god, how did I miss this? Blood can be typed. Gotcha, bro. Oh, look at that. The lipstick. Oh my god. Can you grab that now? How do we miss that? It's just a box with all the clues in it that we need. Zoom in. Brothers same kind. Of color and brand of the body. Classic Carmine. It's the same thing that was in her purse. That's so weird. All right. I have the murder weapon. Better get Pinker down here. <coughs> why is there a cutscene? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your star. Oh, we found all the break. clues. Yeah, Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD. Oh my God, he's arrest. taking off. Watch. Oh shit! What Do gives? Not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Come on, Jason. Mendez, stop right there. Come on, run, bro. God damn. All right. Get in there, Alex. Get in there. I can't pull my gun. I think we're not supposed to. If you can't pull your gun, you're probably not supposed to. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. The question is why. He's like the least important person in this case so far. God damn! Is he getting in a car? Yeah, he's in a car. Get in and drive. Get in and drive. You heard the man. All right. Let's go. Alex, what have you learned in car chases? Kill the guy in the car. Run him over. Doesn't matter where the cops. Turn your siren radius. back on. I didn't mean to turn it off. Turning radius is so bad. Oh my god. Okay, he may be dead, but who cares? Oh! Okay, we may have ruined the cop light, but we're fine. Don't let him get away. Keep it up. I believe in you. Oh my god. We're All right. cops. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep what me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. What's he gonna do? Shoot him? That's scary. I wish that. Oh. Stay close to the left rear bumper on the suspect's vehicle to give him a clear shot. You didn't try and shoot the tires, maybe? Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I'm not asleep on you, dude. I'm flying down the streets of Los Angeles at like 80 miles an hour in the 40s. Uh, I heard a... Oh! Woo! 
Oh my god. Get out quick before he dies. Well, I got him. You're under arrest for the murder of Selena. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> this fits so much better all the evidence that we got. But I'm still suspicious because that it's so weird that he gave her the ring and then he wants it like I want to want look up a little trivia, Alex. Like I got some trivia right here for you. About this case? About this case. I is, I'm very it. interested in it. This case is highly influenced by the murder of Jean French. Jean French was a 45-year-old army nurse who was discovered stripped and stomped to death early in, this, in the morning in February months. 1947. Felt. Okay. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing. The case was never officially solved, but supposedly linked to the infamous the Black Dahlia murder case because the initials BD were written on, with lipstick the on, the, on French's dead body. Wow. The murder also took place just weeks after the murder of Elizabeth Short, Black Dahlia, who also, which also took place in 1947 Los Angeles. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. I'm getting praised. I'm getting praised here, folks. Are we drinking this guy's whiskey right now? I kind of feel worried about that. Dude, he didn't take a drink. Hey, you were right. The actress that plays the neighbor also worked on Mad Men. Crushed it. She plays the secretary, I think. <laughs> Look at that. No injuries. Perfect day. Did I reset the injury? Did I reset the injury scale when I when I like reset the I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Jacob Henry is left to mourn while Mendez waits in lockup for a visit from the DA. I don't I mean, I feel like there's like a lot of loose ends to this case that we didn't tie up. Yeah, but we're, that's not our job, you know. I guess so. It's just like somebody broke into her house and took the ring. What's our next case, game? It's weird. I feel like I'm putting away the wrong man. Oh, main plot time. Oh, back to the blue room. God damn, that was crazy. This episode of Beers Bro, Beard Bros brought to you not by El Pollo Loco, but could be. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I had El Pollo Loco for lunch, and I'd appreciate if they sponsored us. Oh. You just want a moment more El Pollo Loco. El Pollo Loco. Loco. The Golden Butterfly! So he went by himself to watch the singer again? Is that what we were supposed to understand from this? Who went? Cole? Sorry, I was making just like I was obsessing over the singer. Drink. All right, well, let's see what happens with the golden butterfly. Do we know if this is a DLC case or not? This is a regular case. Okay. Uh -oh. I have a little checklist of like. Uh oh. <gasps> Dude, everybody's oh. just getting murdered with tire iron. Everyone irons all the time. loves the tire iron. God damn it. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Come on, yeah, kid. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. The captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have so weird to be a policeman who's like paranoid about like serial killers. The where they found the lady. <laughs> Everything is murder. Let's go. Everything is murder. Mm. Why do you think it's murder all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a lot of murders. Murder. It's from uh, Hot Fuzz. I want to watch that movie. Right, this it's moment. a great movie. I haven't seen Gabriel's it. In, homework. Watch that movie. I haven't seen it since like the day it came out in theaters. Not well, maybe I've watched it like once. I've or watched. Twice. I've watched the triple feature, Better Go Right movies, and it made me so happy. For uh, six and a half hours, Scott I saw. Pilgrim? I saw Shaun of the Dead, Should Hot I drive? Fuzz, I'm gonna and drive. yeah. You saw Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and Scott Pilgrim in one showing. Hell yeah! Oh! At the new. Be at the new Beverly. The guy just ran my ass off the road. At the new Beverly. Did a decent job That's great. Case, that probably was a great show. Not bad for your first time. See, this guy respects me now. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's Edgar Wright was there. Under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead I, didn't, I wanted him to sign attention. that poster. That, see, no, that's actually the poster right there. You see that on my wall? Yeah. Right. That's right. where it came from. See, I Let's uh, throw a picture of the poster up. Patrick or Chris, take a photo of that poster. It's actually behind Frazier's computer in our room, so... Yeah, I like kind of look at it every day. Yeah. Oh my god. 
You went under the tunnel. <laughs> you went under through the tunnel. You went under through the tunnel. And now you gotta go through the lobby to get some more refreshments for your food. <laughs> and now you gotta go to the lobby. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go like around this way. Maybe. I think I'm gonna be able to, yep. There you go. Breaking yeah. the law, breaking the law. Check out this divider. All right. Breaking the law, breaking the law. They might need it. I'm just bringing it up to them. They might need it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that didn't work. Uh. <laughs> All right. You yeah, know what? Shit. Sometimes you when you're just ain't shit and you're still driving. Sometimes when you're doing police work, you know, danger can come at you from an angle you didn't expect, and that's you know, I if anything, I praise LA Noir for being so <laughs> so edgy about it. Just to show you just to show you that there's danger lurking around every corner, you know what I mean? Oh my god, get out of here, you know dark wing duck. Yeah, like that's what it's about, you know? Okay. Like, that's... All right. I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> and, you know, I, you know, the fact that I live, like, I'm going to carry that with You don't have a door me. anymore. I'll get one. Now, boys. I'll boys, get one back. you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. You should be able to arrest a reporter who shows up on a scene like that. Yeah. I don't understand why you can't. You can't do that nowadays, unfortunately. You should get a ticket for $400 every time. Yo, you know why the... Elizabeth Short is the Black Dahlia murder, the popular one. Yeah. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. This guy is, like, turning the pressure on. I mean, he does have the perfect dicks on his team. Dude, this guy is... Yeah, right. This guy is like a poet. Yo, that dude also is one of the Irishmen. He's the Irishman in, uh... Uh, what is it? Oh. Gangs in New York. No. Yeah. What... What Irishman? He's what he's like they call him the Irishman in Gangs of New York. Isn't everyone an Irishman in Gangs of New York? No. You racist. Isn't that the whole point of the movie? Is that like the whole gang is Irishmen? There is an Irish gang, but you gotta watch that movie. That's not Beer Bros homework. That'll be like five hours long for you. That's fine. I love that movie. Alright, All right. let's find some uh some where's, the, so where's the body? Where's the body? What's going on here? Where are, you, where are you going? I'm looking for the body. It's like not here, right? You think Turn it's like your, this way? Like over here? Yeah, okay. There All we right. go. Okay. What's up? Oh my Patrick, god. Patrick, don't forget to, uh, Patrick and Chris, don't forget to put your little things here. It's like the same crime again. Can you grab anything? Yeah, what is that? Okay. Deidre oh, Moeller? That's our victim. Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association? Okay. And this is five bucks? It's five dollars. Why not take the money? Or why not All right, so it's not turn it over and visit the church address that's on the other side. It happens way too much to yeah. me. I'm that guy that's like a hundred dollars! Sweet, a hundred bucks. Alright, so let's look for some clues. I don't want to look at the body yet. Um Look at the exhibits. We got C. Yeah. Okay. What's that? What is that? Is this just nothing? What is? Oh, okay. there. Foot footprints. Size eight shoe. Watch. The stopping angle in the Henry case. Was Small men's press? footprints. Small men's. Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, that was C. So let's go to B. I think B was the purse. Was it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, B was the purse. Was it? Okay. Is there something else here, or should I just go to the body? Let's look around. I don't s I'm not convinced the body's gonna have everything we need. What was that? 
The music sounds too much like the sounds. Yeah, maybe we should look at the body. All right. Should I talk to the coroner? Maybe. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine this Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another oh sad God. sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm <laughs> oh saying my is God. you got enough to do without reopening closed case. Talk me through it, Mal. Why are you being such a shithead, Rusty? Display, footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. No size on this one? Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. Oh, rope burns. I need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. If the Without anus out here in Lover's Lane. is, Mind if I examine the body? is uh, I damaged again, then we might be... We might have something to worry about. Because that wasn't even mentioned in the crime that we just solved. Yeah. Looks like she was tied up. She does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think huh. her watch might have been torn off. But he's just stealing jewelry? So let's check her... Can you check her neck? I can, but I want to look at her other wrist first because I want to see what the deal is. Just nothing. Oh, her ring. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. Yeah. A wedding or engagement ring. Violent dude, this is ring. like the same crime, dude. This is... Yeah. Let's look at the neck. Look at your mark. What is hey. that? Zelda. Yep. Da -da -da -da. Back at the lab and get Some back ropes. To yeah. Huh. And that's it? Patrick, Chris, don't forget to put the uh, pictures of yourselves in the on the body parts. Ugh. Oh. Ooh. God. Okay. Detectives, R and I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband. Hugo. Oh, oh. shit! What I tell you? Hugo Mahler. Husband, take him downtown and work him over. You can have this Damn, wrapped up by sucks. lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Yeah, what the fuck, Rusty? I thought all. you were cool. Thought you were. Thought you were. Thought you were. Thought you were just a jaded old policeman who was tired of having to do things the right way. I didn't realize you were just a fucking <laughs> sexist <laughs> asshole. Calm the fuck down, dude. Yeah. It's like you get paid the same if you solve the crime or not. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we should try and solve the actual goddamn crime. All right. Let's get inside. Smaller residence. Let's go. You want him to drive? I'm too paranoid about it. Look, if you want him to drive, I'm not going to judge hey, you. Hey, look at our nice car. Look at how clean and nice our car is. Isn't that nice? No. Just like Everyone the day knows. I bought it. Everyone knows that you... Drove that car off a cliff unsuspectingly. I don't think I remember doing it. You I'm, sure did. Are you sure that wasn't just a dream that we both had? No, nope, you did that. The husband. If he doesn't work I don't know, out, man. I, I don't know that that was happening. Enough. More than enough. Look at you that. The road it looks like there's a road, and it just leads into a, like, straight because into Because there's an underneath road, dude. I don't think so. Third divorce, okay. I you almost hit a person. Look, dude. This is like they made it so that you should follow the rules of the road. I don't. But we're cops. We don't believe in rules. Well, that's what I'm saying. We are the rules. I have a daughter and a wife. I always forget about that. You Vic never talked about them or heard know, from them. I right? know. It's weird. No, we're not going to respond. We're only we're only perfect dicks for the story, my friend. Yeah. Maybe we'll go back and do some of those. I'll be later. a perfect dick off camera. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Because I have no choice, because that's my job. That's my job. <laughs> my job. That's my job. That's Mike Darb. That's Mike Darb's job. Ook. Oh Ook. my god. Oh my god. Ook. Oh my god. Oh All my right. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least everybody's staying out of the way today. Yeah, because you. What? Whoa, whoa there, I Bertha. I was drunk whoa. driving. Shoutouts to that old man I saw driving on the uh, out in the road with his, with his old pickup truck called Big Bertha. Is that real? Yeah, Manhattan Beach, California. There is an older gentleman driving a pickup truck 
Look, looks just right out of this game. What does it say? Big Bertha it's on the red, side? It's red and white, and it, the banner across the whole side and back, it says Big Bertha. And it's got a 1950s pinup model with just, like, a beautiful dress. And what it do says you Big Bertha. What do you think the odds are that he watches Super Beard Bros? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's real. You don't think so? No. I, I feel like it seems like he's the perfect type of guy. Look... If he's like, I wonder what's happening in L.A. Noir. Oh, the Beard Bros. No, I <laughs> oh would. Oh, my God. They found my truck. I'd lose my shit, as one would say. You'd lose it? I'd lose it. That's badass. Uh, I think I'm going to start letting my partner drive more often, because this is like time time times blame. Time blame. I know, but the comments, Alex, everyone's saying, I'm you saying gotta drive. I'm saying let's just find like a little, like, let's just... Or the free guide of the times when you should drive. Nah, man, no, no guides. That's not a guide. I just like we're I, just trivia. We just trivia. It I just got, makes I got, the I got show. The checklist. It just makes the show boring. I just, I know. I'm just driving. Look, look. If you think that the show is boring based on us driving, and yet you're willing to sit there in silence for 45 seconds to a minute to watch me draw a stupid piece of art, <laughs> then yeah, there's a payoff there. There's a payoff here. We're cops. We're going to go bust someone's ass. I'm Look at you! That, I'm busting that ass. Here we go. The Mahler residence. Hugo Hugo Mahler. Uh, all right, let's get in there. Let's crush it. Yo, we're the cops. <laughs> Hello. Phelps and Galloway. Is that a woman? LAPD. Is your father home? home oh, it's soon. a little girl. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Oh no. Can we come in? I don't want to tell this girl that her mom is dead. Thank you. Oh boy. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Oh my god. Don't be an asshole to her, Rusty. We're going to have a look around. All right, let's look around first. Rusty's not going to do jack shit, though, is he? They never do. Note on the counter. What do we got? Grocery list. Grocery list. Grocery list. Don't Grocery forget list. mom's birthday. All right. Well, it's nothing. My partner will explain everything when we get back, okay? A glass. Oh, Ollie, thank God. It is clear, and it is a glass. <laughs> thank God that he's being nice to the little girl. Maybe he has a girl too. He does have a he does have a girl. Grab the fruit. Mm. This doesn't pertain. I wonder to if the murderer was a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's a lemon. What do you think about What do you think about the lemons? Murderer is a lemon. What if we just knew? Oots, show me size 8. Oh, show me size 8. I think, oh. dude, I think this is a fucking, this is a fucking workaround. It just so happens her fucking husband has size eight shoes and they want us to go after him. But. Because that would mean that the husband also killed the other. Exactly, dude. That's some. All right. All right. Okay. So what? we got to find some more clues. What the hell is that? What is that? Jewelry? Oh my god, if it's a missing ring, I'm gonna kill myself. No oh my god, it's the same crime! Dude, what do you think the odds are that she's gonna be Can like- Can you check the red thing? What do you think the odds are that somebody's going to La Bamba? Like, do you think she goes to La Bamba? Elgin wristwatch. Lady Elgin? Elgin missing watch and body. rings? Jewelry. Dude, this is like freaking me out. This is like the same crime again. Oh, Zelda. All right, let's go talk to this woman. Little girl, whatever. I don't know. I can't tell how old she is. She's wearing a dress that makes she's her look like an me. old mom. Daddy is trying to find her. Oh my God. Okay. I don't want to tell this little girl that her mom's sorry dead. sorry I have to tell you this, Michelle, but... God damn. Your mother is dead. Oh... <laughs> Probably not the best. Do you think you could answer a few questions? Very bad at interrogating. Try. 
Jesus. Okay. Okay. That was all right. What do we got here? Last contact with last a victim. See your mother. Yesterday afternoon, I went to a dance at Belmont High. Okay. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Daddy came instead. All right, what do we got? Um, she's being <sighs> a little shifty, actually. She's telling the truth, but she's look also at, hiding look at, something. Look at, look at, look at, uh, she's hiding something. Look at that. She's being a little bit she's shifty. Not, now, like, I doubt her because of her insecurities. That's what I'm Does saying. That makes sense. Yeah, that, well, that's not being a sexist jerk. No, I think it's real. I think I think it really is a situation where she's being a little shifty. But she like, just found out her mom died. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do it. So yeah. Hanging around the Maybe she's just trying to cover herself. What happened? Cover something father? that has nothing I don't to do with know. it. No. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Huh. Husband's alibi. So we have an alibi for the husband. What do we... No, we don't. We just have that he didn't answer the phone? She, well, no, he picked up the phone eventually. And he picked up the girl. Right. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Okay. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. Yes. I never paid much attention to that stuff. All right. Let's see. What do you got? I think that's true. Oh, okay, so look at this little look down she does here. I'm like... I'm like, she's still being kind of shifty, but I'm like, is it now because she's sad? She looks Look, more like she's, she's she, she just found out her mom died. She looks a little bit more like she's about to cry than she did the last time, which is why I feel like maybe she's telling the truth and she's just looking away because she doesn't want to I agree cry. with you. She's telling the truth. <sighs> it's getting harder. It looks a it's lot. It's getting so it fucking looks hard. a lot like the doubt, but it's not exactly the same. I think she's telling the truth. <sighs> I'm going to go with my first instinct. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Mommy chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and the matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. Which we found the box for. Her birthday. She knew exactly everything about them when she said she didn't care about the jewelry. It was kind of a makeup present. Got her makeup present. <laughs> State of the parents' Your marriage. Let's talk about it. Happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Oh, my Ooh, God. Ooh, child. You are full <laughs> of doubt and resentment. <coughs> now, she's not lying. Well, they, we have nothing to catch her on anyway. Like, right. Yeah, like, let's just doubt. Doubt they is basically, happy, you're a liar, but they not as I can't big as... It. Yeah. <laughs> she said she would leave him if he ever did it again. Okay. She brought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Why didn't you tell me about the brooch? Golden butterfly. Golden butterfly. All right. So that Thanks, brooch Mr. might Roland. be important. You've been very brave. Hey! Yay! Oh, my God. It's Greg Grumberg. Go to your room, here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. You Greg, you look great, dude. Loved you in Star Wars, ready. Greg. Loved you in Heroes. Oh, my God. You can't come Park in here man. interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Have a Bound? seat, motherfucker. What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. What was the grave at Luke Skywalker's <laughs> planet? <laughs> Footprints at the crime scene. All right. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Lied. Lie, 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 lie. <laughs> Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because we found your shoes <laughs> and their size eight boots. My shoe size? <laughs> you must really be running on empty. You lied, bro. What are you talking about? Did you do the right one? I hit lie. Did you choose the right the right evidence though? It didn't give me a chance to do evidence. You did didn't? No. What? You picked the wrong you picked the wrong thing, Alex! That's bullshit! It's the fucking footprint! Right, but you we weren't supposed to pick the foot you were supposed to pick the shoe! Shut it down. Shut it down. We're going shut back. It down. We're shut going it back. down. We're going shut back. it down. Yeah, we're going shut back. it down. We're Fuck going it. back. We're going Fuck back. It. Shut it down. Bullshit. 
That's fucking horseshit. That's some Phoenix Wright bullshit. You know what that is? That's what that is. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Bullshit. You hear me? Do you hear me, America? That's bullshit. That's unbelievable. I will not have my record tarnished by that bullshit. <laughs> you chose the wrong evidence, dude. If it was fucking real life and I was like, the fucking footprint and the scene... You, you right, got, but we weren't talking about the footprint in the scene. Whatever, we were dude. Talking about the shoe if size. If it was a real case, I wouldn't have one chance to do it and then mess up. If I was like, uh, "Well, we find the footprint." Sorry, your boots. Like they wouldn't be like, "You're not a cop anymore." I'm I, not. I'm not giving up perfect dicks like this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I. We knew the right evidence. I'm not giving up perfect dicks like this. We knew the answer. There's no way. We were on the complete right page, right? You yeah, you just you just didn't, you didn't pick the right shoe. That's you, fucking. You picked the shoe print and not the shoe size. I'm just saying, honest mistake. I shouldn't get dinged. It's so similar. I just I don't understand. It's Phoenix right. I just hope that our record is not tarnished. I saved. I saved the crime. I saved the. I I I know the answer to the crime, and I clicked the wrong thing, and then I lost the game. I don't even want to finish this Let's Play if it's not a perfect dick. Wow! I'm going to walk away. Wow! Yeah. Wow! I'll walk away. Wow! I'm over it. Wow! L.A. Noir. Wow! More like L.A. Boar War. Whoa! L.A. Boar War. Whoa! L.A. Boar War. <laughs> I hope we're okay. We're okay. We better be okay. I will literally... Call Greg Grunberg on the phone and explain to him what happened. <laughs> Greg, 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 hold on. Let's get Greg Grunberg on the show. I don't know him. I want to talk to him about footprints versus boots. Oh, we did this whole thing over again. Give it to me. Give me the controller. I will save this case. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Open the door, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where's your shit? You gotta find everything, Alex. Where's the goddamn Let's shoe? Find them all, buddy. Give me the shoe. God damn it. Size eight. Size eight. Look. Size eight. That's the evidence that you didn't deliver last Whatever, time. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Should both work. I got to get the wedding ring from the thing. I got to get the ring and the watch from the thing. And then I got to interview the daughter again and again and again. Lady Elgin watch. Look at this. Okay. Didn't get anything for that. Give me this one. What do we got? Open it up. Show me the ring. Missing watch and rings. Easy as pie. I'm a detective who can travel through time. Travel through time. This is Undertale. <laughs> uh, just so we're all clear, Undertale is not about traveling through time. All right. Spoilers, dude. Yeah. When did uh, you last see your mother? Let's talk to her. Yesterday afternoon. All right. Last contact with victim. When did you last see your mother? High. Yesterday afternoon. I believe we doubted her. She didn't show. So what did you do then? Can we skip this or no? I can't skip it. I'm scared to press buttons. Came instead. Belmont High School question mark? Oh my god. So you were hanging around the school. Uh, you're while. telling a doubt. What happened a doubt. to your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally answered. Oh my god. Answered. What an awful thing. Straight away I can't believe that's how easy it is to not be a perfect dick. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. I can't Can believe that. I refuse to go down that way. Rain, no way. I'll back to the future watch. to this before I do that. <laughs> Good I lord. I haven't stopped talking for ten minutes how, how flustered I am about this. God. We could have just edited this part out altogether, Alex. We can. What is this? What did she just ask me? Oh, shit. I don't know. This is the truth one, right? I don't know. Which, what's the... This is the truth one. I know it's painful. And then the last one is the She's telling the court. truth, yeah. She wore a wedding ring. And he chose it herself. Yeah. And then she knows all the de the details and, and then she's like with my parents are happily married and then I say, oh, "I don't know about that." And then she she's like, "All right, well, fine." Yes. The yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. 
She says she doesn't care about the jewelry, and then she like describes it perfectly. I just don't understand. Kind of a makeup present. Oh my god. How embarrassing. What an awful what an awful way to lose the perfect record. It's like the same thing as Barry Bonds baseball being in the Hall of Fame. It's like, yeah, like it's in the Hall of Fame, but like remember that one time when you chose the fucking footprints instead of the boots? It's okay, dude. I forgive you. But will America forgive me? I forgive you. You just you Apple you made America. you made a dummy. But will but will America forgive me, Gerard? Look, if you forgive Alex, tweet at him or comment, because in my as far as I'm concerned, I'm okay, so I doubt now, right? They weren't happy. That's what we did show. last time. Yes. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just as far as I'm concerned, I'm still a perfect dick. Oh my yeah, god. I'm still a perfect dick. I knew. I knew the answer. I've solved three of the crimes before we left the first crime scene. Remember that? Thanks, Miss. Remember how good I am? You've been very That's a question for you, America. I'm the sharpshooter. That's a question hey, for I'm you guys. I'm the sword of home. justice. Daddy, the police are room here. Please, we got so infatuated by Greg Runberg. Go to I gotta, room, I gotta talk to him and tell him what happened. I'm gonna ask him. Can't come in here if I can, if I can ask Greg like Runberg, if I explain to him the whole situation, and then he Bow. tells me that I'm still perfect dick, I don't even what? care what America says. But until then, I beg you. Okay, let's be chill about this and do this like the right way, the right, Fuck. correct way. Fuck. All right. Fuck. Here we go, calm boys, calm, calm boys. Why do you ask? Footprints at the crime scene. It's routine, sir. Nine. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. God damn it. Why are you lying to me? Nines, you're a liar. No, not true. Why would I lie to you at a time like this? So this time, we're going to choose the shoe size, yeah, Alex. Fine. Size the eight work boots. Work boots. Here, size here we go. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. That is really bad, dude. <laughs> oh, don't you sick up for him. He wasn't sticking up for him. He was telling me he's a small dick. Let's talk about the... Uh... God, I'm never going to get over this. Al the this is why cops drink, dude. You stayed in while what? your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Now I want to have three fingers yes, of rye. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wrong. He's lying. What did he just say? Wait. He just said he stayed here while his wife went to go pick up his daughter. It's just not true. It didn't happen. Look at the notebook. Husband's alibi. Michelle Mahler reports calling home repeatedly with no answer on the night of the murder. Yeah. Yeah. Full of shit. Right? Yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm never going to be able to make a choice like this again. I'm ruined forever. I no I He's full of shit. Right? You should come clean if you're Correct? He's full of shit. Something okay. Going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? No, your fucking daughter your is. Your daughter, right? Dipshit. Shout, dude. Husband's Why alibi. So Husband's alibi. <sighs> okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Why did you lie? You shit. You're so, you're so, you're so. We have a new option now. Missing History persons report. Or history of violence. Should I go? I, I'm just going to go in order. Let's go down the order, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Look, you're um, not lying about that, but I don't trust you either. Uh, Did your wife ever go out by herself? I doubt him. The bars, nightclubs. Yeah. No, I go ahead and doubt him. What are you? What are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the, the La time to be pushing me, Mister. <laughs> Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who. What are you gonna do? Up. Punch me, Michelle? I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. <laughs> Your wife was beaten and then strangled. Oh my God! And history of violence. <laughs> And a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true, god damn it. Yes, it is, bro. Yeah, you're a liar, look, dude. Look at, this is this is this is the answer, right? Domestic violent incident. Yeah. It is true, Hugo. Okay. We got you. You're a, you're a liar. Yeah, we got you, dude. You 
try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Oh, yeah? Then what about the time Let's you... Let's talk about that butterfly brooch. What about the brooch about that the you got for your wife after a domestic wife violence incident, Greg heard. Grunberg? She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. This guy's also the voice of you Captain like Kirk's dad in the, new J- in the new J.J. Star Wars. Nobody likes a cheap That's story, right. Hugo. Calm down, dude. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. <laughs> God damn it, we're still perfect at this point. Whatever, I'll know. Question. I'm going to carry it with me in my heart forever. Put the cuffs on. I'm not a perfect this dick. Just for the record, I'm a perfect dick, but I'm Alex is negative one on Alex. I'm wearing a suit. Don't make me come Get the awards. <laughs> but I'm not perfect. Should go I'm not back a perfect in there and dick. Bust his ass. I believe you though, man. Why you, we knew that we talked about it. We, I, I knew the right answer. I Two, thought I was choosing the right thing. Violence, which probably goes for half the minute. I want to be like the murderer. Three, no oh, whatever. whatever. God damn it. Hello, detective. Oh yo, why are you waving us down? Hey cops, what's up? I saw this dude murdering his wife last Let's talk night. Talk to talk to the neighbor. Should I call in the? Should I call in something? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go talk to her first. Yes, ma'am. I heard the Shut up. I'm the police. The radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. Ugh. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown. Oh, shit. Look, there he is now. Wow. Oh my god, why would it start me like running into a car? Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy. Why would you wait? Can you pull out the gun or no? Um no. Tackle. <sighs> Didn't tackle him. Tackle. Tackle. Exactly. Tap it. Tap I'm, it. I'm, I'm tap tapping. Tap it. I'm tapping it over and over. Tap it. Tap it. Tap I it. Tap I'm it. still tapping it. <laughs> I've been tapping it for as long as I live. Go, baby. Why is he running? Why is he running? Dude, what is up here? What is going on? Everybody's like the murderer. Not your chance. Tackle him. Hands where we can see them. You're bopped, Hugo. Shoes. He's burning his own shoes. Good, Hugo. I can oh, like dude. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Dude, what the fuck Someone is happening? These murders are exactly the same. I don't... It's a moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Akersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up. What? Take care of the kids. Crazy. Yo, use, yeah. the, f- use the payphone now. Yeah. Hey, isn't he the cop that won a medal? This is freaking me out, man. These murders were exactly yeah. the same. Homicide yeah, but different situations. But we have two different guys. It's weirding me out. I wonder if they're actually the murderers. I wonder if he actually can explain the blood. I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, detective. Oh right, I forgot oh, we're about going to the high school. I forgot about Belmont High School. So it's not over yet. I guess not. Huh. All right, next time on Beard Bros. I guess we're going to go to the high school. We're going to go to Belmont High School. Question right. of the day. Yeah. What's your favorite Greg Grunberg Wait. role? Got it, KGPL. Oh, the morgue. This guy's got Some stuff from the body. Let's go to the... Should we go to the morgue first or go to the high school? Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one is more pressing. I mean, it's a dead body, right? So maybe we should just go to high school. 
don't know. We'll see. Next time on Beard Bros. Next time on Beard Bros. Question of the day. What's your favorite Greg, Greg, Greg Grunberg role? Later, man. Mine is uh, Snaps West Wexley. <laughs> oh, later, man. Snap. Temin Snap Wexley. Later. Later.